What's happening, lads? We've got some uh, big news. You might have seen it already. It's been on sale for about a week now. But the first ever Have A Word live tour, live podcast shows, not just stand-up, we're doing live versions of the podcast, is coming to Glasgow, Newcastle, Birmingham and Dublin. Where can you get tickets, Dan? I don't know. Haveawordlive.com. You get them from haveawordlive.com. <laughs> There's also a handy link on there that links to your website. Oh, and I'm on tour, so that'd You're be nice. Yeah. And I go on tour as well, but my tour is not getting announced till next month. Come and month. see the lids. Yeah, haveawordlive.com. Come and see us. Every different city is going to have different guests, different shows. First time we've done live shows outside of Liverpool, apart from one we did in London. We're very, very excited. Uh, anything else we need to talk about? We've also got a fucking... Patreon. Oh, it's Peter the Have a Word Snake. <laughs> so uh, when when you say Patreon, Peter, what is a Patreon? A Patreon is basically a subscription th uh, scheme, theme, where we give you extra content every week and you give us just £3 a month. So for just £3 a month, people could sign up and they would get, what, an extra episode a week, early access to public episodes, and on top of that, they'd get a monthly special. The most recent one was the Amsterdam special, you mean? Oh, the Amsterdam special We all got massive. fucking potted off our twat. We've <laughs> also got the lock-ins, we've got the arena show, we've got the restaurant special, the footy special, both ghost hunts, but the lock-ins are legendary with Ishan, Jamie, Johnny Bongo. But this Amsterdam special will go down as one of our best. If you sign up now just for £3 a month, you can sign up for 5 or 10 as well, but you get added benefits. But you get all the content just starting at 3 quid a month. And that doesn't include the forthcoming episodes. You get the entire back catalogue, every special we've ever done, and also all the back catalogue of the weekly. You get an extra episode every single week. That's so go best. to patreon.com slash haveawordpod right now. Go if you ahead. don't do it, I'll bite a child. <laughs> so you've got to do it. And that's how we've got to be the biggest patron in the UK. Biggest in the UK, mate. Wag wag, lids. You're listening to the funniest podcast in the game with Adam, Dan, Sensei Kal, and Finn. This is the one and only Have a Word. Brought to you by Manscaped.com. The very best in below the belt men's grooming. Go, Ed. Get so, on me. Adam. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. Adam's dead. That's what happens when you go to Brussels, isn't it? You know, yeah. well, it was a... What, obviously, I don't know if people have seen it on social media, but um, Adam decided pretty late in life that he had a different sexual mm -hmm. preference, animals. Yep. And he didn't start small, nope. and he went straight for gorilla, and he got bummed to death. In Brussels. In Brussels Zoo. Mm-hmm. You know, and there was sad. a sign saying, you know, please don't uh, fuck the gorillas. Was it accent? It yeah. was a Dutch guy that wrote <laughs> oh, the, yeah. It was a Dutch guy that wrote. So Adam's dead. Taylor's yeah. all his time. Taylor's all his time. Well, yeah. got bummed to death yeah. in Brussels Zoo by loads of gorillas. <laughs> yeah, just be careful. We, we've got Shane Todd. Hey. Yeah. Better. Oh. <laughs> Press the wrong button. You're, you're sexy wee stepmom here. No. <laughs> Press the wrong button. So the old top of the fops things go up. <laughs> There we go. I'll take that. Watch. Yeah. 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 Fucking Finn's giving me too many buttons. I, I, th I think I'd be a good wee step mommy. I think people like that. What? I'm, I'm like I'm like the step mom. Right. Because Adam's gone. Oh, I thought you were linking on from fucking gorillas. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you new, your new mommy? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, th I think if you, I, I, that's a body type and profile I have. <laughs> but if you came home. And your no. dad's like, listen, I've got something to tell you. <laughs> and I was like, too far down the house. I think you'd, you'd conceivably be like, that's a wee sexy stepmom. If you like, came have, home... we, have we got a Ukrainian refugee? <laughs> oh no, it's Shane. <laughs> if you came home and you were your new stepdad, yeah. would you listen to you? No, I... So I, I had a stepdad, right? Um, which is weird to have an ex-stepdad. And um, he <laughs> sent me off at my own fifth birthday party, indoor football. And it was never a raid. And I even got the wee boy who was... To be fair, crying, but it was 50 50 tackle. <laughs> and I got him to say it wasn't a raid. And he sent me off. Didn't and I was like, this? I was like, what do you have? And he's like, he told me to leave the hall. I was like, why are we, why are we even having cards? Like he didn't have, you know, <laughs> it wasn't clear that he was ref and then there was no referee really. He'd ordered cards was just for the chance that he got to send his stepson off. Yeah. And, and pay your room. And he's at your birthday when you were five. Yeah, Rats. straight red. I'm like, give me a yellow and tell him. I'm like, that's my first one. And he's like, get out. You're not real. You're Get not real, son. <laughs> you know? At five? Yeah. Were you two stood in it? Fucking yeah. two foot in it? I was like, five. yeah, you're not my real dad. I haven't spoken to him since. Yeah, but he is the real ref. Yeah. Well, he's not even a real ref. No, Did you come back ref. on? Huh? Were, you, were you out? 
I was out, out of the hall. And here's the thing, you know, like Leisure Centre Tours, you can still see in a wee panel. I had to watch everyone having great fun. <laughs> At your the, bed. the match was more open. I was just standing in a corridor. Fucking <laughs> and he was, hitting my life. He was dead by Shane's sixth birthday. It was, it was not a red. I still remember the tackle. It was not a red. The boy was called Owen Kerr. He's about three at the time. I was like, <laughs> and, and I was like, it was not, it was his, it was, he was clumsy. You know? Yeah, wasn't he was last three. Ma- I wasn't last man, or, but he's making a point. He's basically going like, you know, I will well st- send off my own stepson at his birthday party. I was like, you made an example of me as a yellow at best. Was there any more um, send-offs at the birthday party? <laughs> was there just the whole party outside the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just David doing keep ups <laughs> I don't watch a cake cutting from the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened to his stepdad? He, huh? What happened to... He's not just not my stepdad anymore. Nice. All right, cool. He's still alive, but he's just not. (laughs) Um, Thanks for doing this, mate. Thanks for having me. Uh, We won't send you off. That's a little real. No, no. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Just could you just send out there? (laughs) We we try and send other people off. Finn's been sent off a couple of times. Um, So Adam's in uh, Brussels, or is he in Budapest now? He's in one of the bees, Brussels, Belize, Bruges, and Budapest. Yeah, he's also Belize as well. Oh, is he going Bruges, Brussels? Bush, 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 Bum play. Hey, this is my first rodeo. Oh, oh, you had the colonoscopy before? Every other week. No, <laughs> like seven years ago I got one. I have Crohn's disease. Uh, oh, uh, so that's What's different. that? Hmm? What's that? Good question. I am not 100%. <laughs> I've ha- I swear I've had this for like 10 years, but my policy is don't ask and you won't know. <laughs> I, have a, I have a very similar policy with the ingredients of sneak. <laughs> Do you put a pipe up your mm. ass and you're asking? They put, yeah, they, have a, they have a camera, yeah. So I got it done like seven years ago. It's just to make sure everything's all good. Do you know the weird thing is, the doctor that does it is his former stepdad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. And he enjoys right. it. So the weird thing is it's a Polaroid camera. Um, <laughs> they, yeah, I got it done like seven years ago. Have you had one? No. I could see, I could see you get one. Oh, yeah. you, 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 would, like, what? you would think with the age of me <laughs> yeah. that I would have had one. Because apparently I'm already like past my MOT. Right. But I have not don't want to and now everyone's looking at me in a way like i need to I'm, yeah, on mean. camera i haven't had what the colonoscopy or yeah. like the uh, the bumoscopy the colonoscopy what's yeah. a bumoscopy the huh? bum skull yeah gone. that's what a colonoscopy is oh what am i thinking of well, yeah what were you thinking of you're oh you're thinking of uh, um the thing where they they flush out they suck all your ass um, a colonic that? colonic rim job a rim job <laughs> <laughs> yeah the rim job yeah yeah i snacked you the rim job <laughs> i uh, Back in the day. Come over to Belfast. We'll do all three in the one day. <laughs> <laughs> what a weird time to tap me on the own. Oh, rim job. Oh, and a man for the, you. The, the camera goes up. Go, yeah, go yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but see when I got it done, yeah, about seven years ago, you're lying on your side, all vulnerable. There's a camera going up your arse. The, the nurse said to me, do you want the TV on? And you're kind of out of it with like gas and air and stuff. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, for like distraction or something. <laughs> hey, it's a fade from the camera. <laughs> What? I said, who wants this? I thought she was going to put on Homes Under the Hammer. I was like, I don't want... <laughs> I don't I, put, on. put on George Rinder. I don't want this. I don't want this. I didn't know what it was at first. I was like, oh, this is... Oh, this is digging the Euro Tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Cave Expedition. <laughs> but who yeah, wants it's, it's, you, can, the... you can watch your own insights. Hang on. When do they start the camera feed? Because I actually think it would be less <laughs> upsetting once it's in, if they went, now we turn it on. If I saw a camera, if I saw a GoPro going towards my hairy ass. <laughs> it's not a GoPro. I know it's not a GoPro. I feel like it is a GoPro. <laughs> it's... They make it. <laughs> yeah. Go outdoors and all that shit. You that? can tell as well, Will's are like camera fucking yeah. like consigliere. <laughs> And you know that he's like, oh, we should definitely get a fucking colonoscopy camera. <laughs> yes. It'll be great for content. Patreon special. <laughs> so it doesn't show it until it's in. They don't flick the TV on. No, the on doctor doesn't start off in selfie mode. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get this fucking asshole bleached. Um, yeah, right. Wild. So it goes in. Yeah, and then yeah. you get to watch the whole thing. Yep, you get to watch it all. Any, any drugs or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, poppers. <laughs> no, um, be, that'd be useful. You, so the first time I had, you're kind of like out of it. You're a bit woozy. 
But then the second time they went, listen, see if you're going to be looking after kids and stuff the next day, just go gas and air. So I'm going gas and air. It's probably more open there now anyway, because the first time went. Yeah, you see. Um, that's I a, don't think about the camera That's a size. rookie move there. <laughs> I'd be like, drug me up and yeah. I will fucking wobble out of this and then be like, to yeah. your wife, your partner, be just like, I cannot look after the kids. Yeah. They said for 72 hours. Yeah. So oh, yeah. that, <laughs> I'm going to be on the couch. That has been bombed by yeah. GoPro 8. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. They've given me the tape of the film that they filmed, so yeah. let's stick it on. I want yeah. you to live the horror. What does it look like? Is it like a in my head? It's like a uh, a kebab skewer with a camera on the end. Is that right? I did. I didn't. I didn't even see what they had. I know that the footage. Of, I know that they, it could put anything. I know that the inside of you looks like you're just going through like an underground tunnel labyrinth. Oh, like you know when they went. Like when they freed the Chilean miners. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like constantly looking for imagine if Hello, that, that's what I saw <laughs> Hello Get me out of Shane's fucking colon 69 of them famously Ch Chilean That was my Chilean um, Yeah so I'm I'm I'm, ex I'm excited When's that? Sunday <laughs> On God's day? Yeah yeah You can't get <laughs> medically fingered yeah, yeah. on God's day <laughs> <laughs> Holy communion And then yeah. fucking straight for the wazoo Did straight they lube up, yeah. you all? Hmm? Did they lube you all? Good no, question. Just well, here, do, you know, do you know the worst part of it is you've got to you've got to get cleansed before it, not in like a right. spiritual way. Like uh, you've got to drink so you you clear yourself out. So yeah. like the night before, you just sit in the bathroom. It, it comes out of you like you piss it out. All oh, right, oh, so oh. they give you la laxative. Laxative. Yep. Clear out what three weeks. Do you weeks use lube? Do you probably best to use love honey? Yes. If yes. Great. Hang on. Where's where's smooth? Where's smooth? Where's smooth? <laughs> oh shit. Mm. Smooth. This is what I want. I've forgotten how to do the buttons. Um, yes, if you're getting a colonoscopy, <laughs> use Love Honey birthday cake lube. <laughs> oh no! Fucking hell! And we've ruin two some. days. We've got some over there. <laughs> I've got a discount code as well for anyone looking to colonoscopy in Belfast. But, oh really? Have you got yeah, but um, <laughs> Todd Ten. But yeah, every every few years I'll, I'll be getting it. All right. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm I'm coming over to Belfast, aren't I? So I'm going to try and. We'll do I'm that. gonna get Geddes to get me on Lavery's. Yes. I'm gonna come and do your podcast, and then, and then I'll double it up with a uh, get a camera up. Yeah, hmm? the Belfast colonoscopy. Yeah, you introduced me to your guy. <laughs> He's my ass guy. But the, the thing, the thing as well is going to do that. Like obviously Belfast, small place. Like the last time I got it was like young <laughs> medical staff, and I definitely like vaguely knew someone in the room. Right, asking mm -hmm. they, like the anaesthetist or something. You just you're just very vulnerable on your side. And yeah. also, for some reason, I assumed I would be on all fours doing it. And yeah. the doctor was like, please don't be in that like." Oh, you got on all fours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my instinct, which is weird. Can you demand like, like, that? Huh? Say, so listen, what are you doing? If I'm, like, all fours, but you like spread a little bit like yeah. a dog. No, you've got, you got to be on your side. <laughs> fetal position. No, but what if you say, I'm not doing that? <laughs> yeah, I demand. <laughs> I think it would be worse if you lay on your back and just threw your legs in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Put the towel where you want. But well, this is how I'm fucking lying. Have you? Had, I've had a um, what? Uh, not a colonoscopy. An endoscopy. I've had a colonic. Have you? Yeah. Oh really? I've, I've had generation two. Game. I've had, apparently I've had that's two. bad for you. Right. You, you, you need it gets rid of the bacteria. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 also really bad for your soul. Right. Because your yeah, soul. It, it's yeah. <laughs> 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 it also was bad for the genuine soul of the poor girl that did it. Right. What, what are you doing to an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tip for tap. I said, listen, you can do me if I can do you. And the customer's always right. <laughs> Boss man's holiday yeah. for her. The court case was a bit of a nightmare. Um, oh. where, yeah. where did you get it? It's when I lived in Manchester. And um, <laughs> Why, but that's not like really far away where you just do new experiences. Yeah, so it's not like what, the it did spring. I was on the village. It was with a guy called Greg. Right. Um, and he said he was professional. It was just around the corner. Um, I booked it online. It was like, yeah, colonoscopy, South Manchester colonoscopy, not colonoscopy, fucking um, colonic, 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 colonic oh. clinic. Edigation. And it sounded really proper. Right. It was just like a, a beautician's around the corner. It was the, the top room. Right. So you go in and there's just birds getting their nails done and <laughs> and you're like, hi. <laughs> and you could see it in the girl's face. She was like, obviously they've been like, oh God, there's a, it's not happening all the time. Right. They're like, oh God, there's a, there's a clonic booked in. <laughs> yeah. And then I roll in 
fucking overweight, bald, and you could see her face go, oh, fuck my actual life. So he walked up to the top room oh and they've just God. turned the attic into a bum cleaning center. <laughs> but it was just- Loads of Romanians. <laughs> Big brushes. <laughs> <laughs> 25 pounds full valley. But it was just a small room. And obviously with a colonic, you need... it's They put liquid in. Right. But then there has to be a place for the liquid to come out. So you know, like when people try and do like a cheap Airbnb or B&B and they go, we need it to be en suite because that'll sell better. Yeah. So someone out of like fucking just plywood had made a toilet in the corner of this room. Honestly, like balsa wood thin walls. So she's like, right, could you just get the same position? I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I haven't, I've never seen my arsehole, Gooch. I've never, I've never sent a dick pic. I'm not taking pictures of yeah, the Gooch. Yeah, of so I, I imagine it looks pretty bad. And mm. I went on my side and she was fine and it was warm and I started getting sweaty. I was cringing and she just sort of sticks it in, which feels bad. Yeah. And then water goes in. And then she's like, and you will feel the sensation to that you need to poo, and that's fine. You can just nip to the toilet. Oh. And so, but how, I, I was but trying to be things in you. How, how well, you no, because it 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 you you back. It feels like the lower part of your tummy is filling up. So the sensation is, oh, I need shit. Right. So after a while, you're like, oh no, I I do need to go. And she's like, you just use the toilet. And she just put the thing. I like got off. I was like, oh, this is the worst thing ever. And then you're in like a, a like a hospital robe. And then you, she was like, and this is the toilet. And I'm not joking. She was sat here, the table was here, and, and the wall of the toilet was here. It was like four fucking inches from her head. I was like, fine. As I closed the door, the whole thing, you could feel it was structurally not sound. And then you sit on the toilet and like, oh, it was so loud. And I could hear her go, <clears throat> <laughs> through the what, what she heard. Yeah. Oh my God. Why did you, Should have why fucking were you getting tipped it? Sounds like you were forced in this. Yeah. Just one of them things that you're like, oh, I'll try. I'll, tr I'll try this. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What? No. You never fancied a colonic? No. Don't go to the South Manchester Colonic Clinic. How did you feel after? Because I think Stacey quit within 20 minutes of me leaving. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. We both left the building at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> both grabbed your coat. Have you, have you finished for the day? She was like, I've finished oh, look, for you, life. You said you've had it more than once. Yeah, I've got, I, went, I went back. <laughs> <laughs> Why? To see Stacey. <laughs> Hang on. So you had one of the worst experiences ever. I thought I'll do that again. Yeah, I got talked into it by a mate and we went to a place in uh, near, oh, a different place. near Clitheroe that was dead professional and quite good. You and, much I mean, you and a mate? Uh, Alison June Smith, my mate Alison, who's a comedian. Right. We, were, Alison, right we were thinking of starting a podcast. This is about seven years ago. <laughs> Two options, start a podcast <laughs> or go for a comic. <laughs> <laughs> that was fine. That was fine. That was way less. Did you see it all? Have you got like five-year-old steaks up your ass? Well, yeah, look fully formed. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ribeye. <laughs> oh, I like. I see you like it medium rare. Um, now they would say that though. They say that, but I just don't. I think it's bullshit. Right. I think it's just a way to get like eighty quid off you to. In it. Do you feel a, good after it? Um, e not the first one. Eighty quid Felt feels bad. too cheap. You know, yeah. I'd like to be spending more than that. I right. could handle like I'm getting something good here. Yes. What in your head? A, a thousand pound cop for someone Mate, to want to pipe up my ass. Oh, Carl, but you overpay for a lot of stuff. I'm, I got messages going 20 quid an hour for dog sitting is fucking <laughs> mad. I was at people on my side. I underpay for childcare. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I underpay 10 pound an hour. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Good. Oh, is that too low? Yeah, yeah yes. Yeah, 20, 20 quid an hour for a dog. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's too much, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it sounds like it's a price for a reason. They're turning business down. They're, they're you know, for a client, you 80. I want, yeah, I want like the expensive cleaning to be done yeah. to it. I want like a, you know, professional sort of, that makes me feel like they must be top of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 80, 80 quid. quid, you can pay in cash. To get your ass all plumbed in. <laughs> nah. I want, I want, like, we only take card, and it's yes. like, yeah. we need, like, a 50% deposit for you get I there. think it was on Groupon. No. Oh, oh. Never yeah. get your bum cleaned on Groupon, eh? <laughs> Have you seen people put healthy shit up their own ass? Huh? This is the new one, isn't it? Yeah. What do you mean? You put someone else's healthy shit into your bum. Oh, a, f a fecal transplant. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was 95 I wasn't willing to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Stacey said she was constipated, so we couldn't do it. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, that's a different level, isn't it? You actually have someone's healthy plop put yep. up your bum hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Right. Even on Groupon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm out of that. Just leave me house alone. Yeah. Well, unless, <laughs> unless it's medical. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll get a colonic now. I'll get a colonic. Just for just the story. Here in my flight isn't until seven, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> and you're an expert. Yeah. Get a joint one. We, let's get a deal, two of us for 100 quid. Let's get, <laughs> same room. Can we get to South Manchester and back? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want a big machine sucking shit out of my ass. Do you see it all? You what? Could you, you see, see it? it? I was like just, I was just my Is it like a leaf closed. extractor? I was crying. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I have to clear this out. <laughs> Got a special bin. <laughs> Um, Shane, thanks very much for uh, coming over from Belfast. We, I, Ro, it was Ro that thought of you, and uh, oh, who I. Did you want? In no, I just in, in, <laughs> Stacey. Yeah. Um, I never thought that you, but you, it's just such a quick f flight over, isn't it? You'd be surprised how clear my schedule is. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "Will you do this? I'll give you a date." I was like, "Hey, I'm, I'll, I'll be there. I like it. I'll be there." Yeah. Do you do your podcast once a week? Yeah, every Friday. Tea with tea with me. Tea with me. Yeah, I always yeah. say tea with Todd. No, it was originally the Shane Toddcast, which is a great name <laughs> for a podcast. What happened? I, so here's what I would do. I would do, I was doing episodes all by myself. Like I'd record it by right, myself, right, right. upload it. There was nobody else. And I would be like, every Wednesday, guys, do a big announcement. It's coming, the Shane Toddcast, every Wednesday. I'd do two episodes on consecutive Wednesdays. Miss a week and then go, I'll do it next week. Miss another couple of weeks. And then eventually when I got around to doing it, after like a three week break, I go, here it is guys, season two of the Shane Talk. <laughs> there was like 12 seasons and 19 episodes. <laughs> it was always coming back for a new season. Is that why you started doing it with like, cause yeah. K Kieran's the one that you started it. Like, is it two years ago? You just posted that picture of two years ago. Yeah. And it looked like you'd been held hostage. Like it was above, a, it was, there was like a, retail space or like a space we had like an office space above a restaurant and you could only get to it by walking up the fire escape <laughs> of the back of a restaurant walking across the roof of yeah. the restaurant it sounds like where i get my colonics <laughs> it sounds very familiar we were doing that too in the early yeah, days yeah. Um, oh, the, the supplement oh. <laughs> yeah. it was just <laughs> it was just kieran with a tube just <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. Yeah, he's the perfect replacement for Ro. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and, and yeah, it was a, the place was a complete shithole. Started doing there, moved to a slightly nicer office, and then ended up where we have now. And then we go every Friday. This is where we're doing it. And I remember saying to the guys at the start, I was like, I, I'll try to commit every Friday, but just with like my schedule and people wanting me to do stuff, probably won't be able to. Have never missed a Friday. <laughs> have never like. Had any offer doing it's, it's important. The regularity is important. I fucking yeah. love your clips. Cheers. It's they're so they're so good. Um the Belfast scene's flying as well, isn't it? It's it's like here as well, you know, like Liverpool. It's just and I think maybe places like Glasgow too. I don't know whether it's like a working class industrial city kind of thing, but people have realized oh, instead of going to the arena to see international comedians or TV comedians, it's all there on, on our doorstep. So for the price of one of those big arena nights out, you can go see three or four grassroots kind of comedy nights, which you're getting more variety at than, yeah. you know, it's it's easier to get drinks, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, the scenes, I think pound for pound, it's it's as good as any, because it's tiny, like tiny place, no weekend clubs. So it's ma mainly Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but it's it's This is the better night for stand-up anyway. Yeah. For proper stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's like seven or eight names that I keep seeing that are just absolute fucking and, dynamite. And it's it's people like supporting their own. Like that doesn't happen in many other places. You know, people want prefer like more exotic names or uh these people need to have the you know if you haven't been on live at the Apollo, you know. No. People people don't care. Our people most just... popular guest in the last two months, numbers wise, was fucking Freddie. Yeah. And yeah. we've had some absolute hitters. And that's nice, and we always want those guys on. But also, because we've done the same thing, you've got yeah. your boys, Brennan's on today, yep. another one of them. Like, yeah, you rely on the talented people that you know yeah. are fucking class. The, the great thing is, having been on the scene from when it was so, like, when there was nothing. I have been doing stand up like yourself, like a long time. And it's great to, like, there's so many people that are starting now and they don't realize how good it is, like, how lucky they have it. And like, you get to be old man, the old man. I remember. It's like guys that joined the last week of Nam. Right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're wrapping it all up anyway. You know what I mean? Like it's basically over. 
It's like yeah. the last day of term, and you're like, you weren't here. How long day. have you been a stand up for? 16 years. Fucking hell. I know. Wow. How old are you? 34. So, yeah, about the same. And as I remember coming over to, over to Liverpool when hot water was just, I was in the Crown Hotel. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. were a Crown OG. Yeah. Classic. Oh, it was fucking minging that pub. Paul, Sh- Paul Smith. It wasn't minging. It was just very. Ghetto. To, at, yeah, it was just a pub that needed a bit. But actually, there was a real fucking charm to it. Oh, yeah. I looked at it and went, this this won't work. Like, this shouldn't work. It was brilliant. Oh, he's being called for a little tour now, the owner, doesn't he? He's what? Because uh, um, when the train strikes were happening, because it's next door to Lime Street, um, they all, because they were picketing there, he's like, you're affecting my business. And uh, his business was the people picketing, going in and getting drinks and food. And he's kicked off with them and everyone's going, oh, let's boycott this fucking... Oh, that's not a fucking good move in Liverpool, is it? Yeah. Um, Without, because there'll be a a load of your fans that have seen this clip, but I saw a clip of you, uh, the one about the noisy neighbours. I, mate, just go and f- follow Shane and also follow T with me and just you'll see the the clips come out. I, I don't can't take any credit for clips. Like right. as soon as I wrap up the episode. Are you out? You walk out and it's, yeah, so do they. it's Michael and Dan. That Tony we've May. got, well, is it, is that, are they the boys? Yeah. Well, without Carl Fitton and all, the whole team doing the production. But but from when I started, I was trying to do all that myself. I just, just can't do it. It's, it's impossible without other people helping out. You had noisy neighbours. Yeah, so so my dad is like a bit of a cat. Like I talk about my dad and stand up a lot. My dad's 72 now. He's just like a wee character. So my dad, yeah, he's, my dad's probably like five foot four. Guy about town. Everybody kind of knows him in Hollywood. Or oh, from. really? And uh, we live in a, well, when I live with my dad, we live in a semi-detached house, really small house, um, like two bedroom. And the neighbours... You would hear the, what the neighbors were watching on TV, basically yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That, that kind of thing, and uh, always kind of like got on like all right with the neighbors, like no problem, like nice people, no real interaction with them. And um, whenever I was maybe, I suppose I was like fourteen, the son next door would have been maybe fifteen, he was a year older than me, and he got decks for Christmas. Oh my god! Which like, <laughs> don't do that. Oh. You know what I mean? Like because don't do that because either play decks at top level. Or like it's it's so naff if like at ambient level, yeah, you've got the whole thing going and it's like low, you know. But um, so he got decks and my dad's like, "Fuck sake!" Her heard that he got decks and for the first while didn't he obviously de- wasn't ready to start using the decks. All right, and then gradually you'd like you'd hear a bit of music pumping out when he thought we'd left the house, so he'd wait until he saw the cars go and then he. Oh, he's trying to be sound. He's trying to be right, right. And then um, one day we were in. The guy's obviously been like, "Fuck it," start playing music and it's like pumping through the wall and this is like a wednesday afternoon it's pumped like things in our house are moving and it's just like nondescript house music and my dad's cracking up my dad goes right i'm gonna go, gonna go and say to him and then my dad like when he when he cracks up he forgets that he's a very small pensioner <laughs> right? so he, my dad's like that's it and my dad goes well, boom 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 starts banging the door but he near he can't hear it because he's pl- playing Avicii or whatever it is. And my dad's banging the door, so my dad comes back. He's like, he's ignoring me. I was like, I, I, I think he just can't hear you. <laughs> my dad's getting more and more annoyed. My dad's like, what are we going to do here? And I'm like, I don't know. My dad back, boom, bangs the door. And we had this, like, hi-fi system. And my dad, which the old hi-fi system could go, like, ridiculously loud. The the, the actual, like, multi Yeah, multi-tiered yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So my dad went, right, stick on a bit of music there. No, he asked me, he was like, you pick up, you put a bit of your music on? Because, because like, the Bee Gees, I'm thought, like, the Bee Gees greatest hits. <laughs> Jive talking. <laughs> so my dad goes, put on one of your CDs, like, some with a bit of a beat to it. And, like, do I look like a guy who has, like, a bit of a beat? I was like, all right. Let me just get my records out. <laughs> <laughs> so I had um, Oxide Neutrino, if you remember them, <laughs> to drop that. Awesome drop. You remember Oxide Neutrino? No. Do you not like music, Carl? Oxide Neutrino? Do you know who they are? Oxide Back to the bam, bam, to the reload. Re- e- oh, no. Remix the casualty theme yeah, tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh the casualty theme tune. Is that the 80s? Or is that the bell? They did all of it. Neighbours. Fucking sick of beat. No joke, just pause the story. Yeah. They did do that in the 90s. Yeah. yeah. So I was born in the 90s. Te- te- I wasn't listening to Tetris, Tetris came out as a dance tune. 
Terrible. I bought it on tape. So they went, they went very, they were a garage act. They were like a garage duo. And I don't know why I had the album, but I had the album. Right. And um, I'm, I, I've got just the thing. So I go to the CD player, stick that on. And my dad's like, right, let's blow them out of the water here. <laughs> right, so stick it on. And, and I'm like panicking a bit because my dad's like, come on, get it going, get it going. I was like, all right. And hit play on it. And uh, me and my dad are standing there. My dad's like standing at the wall. <laughs> hand on his hips, like, here we go. And I put like the first track on. And, and like, you can just about hear it. Like it's like... Tss, and my dad like, come on, come on, get it up, get it up. And I'm turning it up and I'm like, that's full volume, that's 100. And my dad was like, fuck's sake, no, you can't, I can't even hear that. And I was like, I know. And I was like, tss, 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 just like very, very short in the background. And I go, I'll put on the next track, I'll put on the next track. And it's like, doo, 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 doo. and my dad was like, what are you doing? I, I panic and I'm like, actually, the, the, it's heating up. I said, it's heating up, these songs, the, the, the slow, <laughs> and then they heat up and then it's all the beats going to come in. And my dad was like, get some with a quicker beat. I was like, ah. I'm, I'm burning through the track. I'm like track seven on the album. And it's still, it's like, tss, 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 and his music's getting louder. My dad's like, for fuck's sake, what's happening? You need to get it louder. And I was like, oh, I don't know what's happening. I realized headphones were plugged in to the jack of the of the hi-fi. I went, oh, right, the headphones are plugged in. When I took them out, like my dad's, say, like five foot four or so, 72. My dad, when I took it out, was standing in line of the speaker. My dad nearly went through the wall. Like, we nearly ended up in this guy's house. Like... I can't describe the noise because it wasn't like built for the noise to be that loud and it just like exploded <laughs> into this like my house turned into like a big garage bomb and, and, and I just remember like the wall nearly bursting through and and, and we um, that guy th there was like a bit of a argument then and about two weeks after that the guy he, he continued to like play music I never really told this on a podcast but my dad because it came to me after the the guy next door, his dad and his dad's mate were all standing in their garden and there'd been something with music or a disagreement about something. And my dad one day just went, fuck it, I jumped the wall. And what do you mean? He goes, I jumped over the wall to him. My dad hopped over the wall, <laughs> a short guy. But he said when he jumped over the wall, my dad wouldn't be like a fighter or anything. He had nothing to like, no next move. So he said he had to just continue the conversation they'd been having over the wall, <laughs> but he was just now in their garden. <laughs> so he hopped the wall and they were like, oh, what's happening here? And my dad was like, just, I'm just saying. <laughs> just keep it down. I see. But yeah, I can still remember the noise of that jack coming out. Oh, amazing. And just seeing my dad's head. Yeah, when me and Laura lived in Leeds, we lived in a student area because we were like, oh, it's near Heading Leeds, it's near town. Beautiful spot. And we had... It was a like an old house that had been turned into flats and, and it done badly again. Not quite balsa wood, colonic fucking ensuite bad, but not far off. And the lads underneath us used to, I think they were like getting used to being deep, like practicing, doing the same as you want. I think they had a gig on a Tuesday night right? because it was always Tuesday tea time Pig dance. that they were practicing. Oh, yeah. and, then, and then all of a sudden it get to nine, everything would go off and they just... You'd hear a taxi and they were gone. So very regularly in term time, you'd get back, Laura would get back from work Tuesday. I never gigged on a Tuesday. It was a nice, nice night. And then you'd just be watching yeah. The Weakest Link or something and <laughs> from underneath. <laughs> Horrific. And then one New Year's Eve, I did a massive bit about this. One New Year's Eve, they, they were still going. As we got back from our New Year's Eve, they were still obviously pilled up and still going and we got back at 11 in the morning we'd been at mates the night before and and i was hung over you know when you're hung over and you're like just want to watch something yeah. i just a film yeah and because it was new year's day uh sound of music was on and i was like oh my god i was just going through the channels i was like i'm so hung over i sort of want to watch the sound of music uh, and underneath they were still vroom, 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 vroom. and we watched because I was too hungover to confront them. We watched the whole of The Sound of Music with a techno underbeat. And Laura's like, I'm going to go and deal with it. I was like, I can't, I'll cry. I'll knock on the door, be sick, and then weep. So I'm just going to put up with it. But honestly, that the, the Sound of Music to a techno underbeat is yeah. quite something like, how do you solve a problem? Like, boom, 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 boom. And, I, and Laura's never done drugs. And she was like, I don't get it. Yeah. What, what is going on? It's nearly midday, and they're still going. It's weird. But they went. And she actually, punk. she actually went. 
are they are they on drugs? I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they are. My neighbours are there. Not gin and tonic, is it? The neighbours who share my wall are moving. I'm so scared. Oh, that's a, ra- a, a, ra- a lucky dip, isn't it? For who you're going to get. I've so I've walked past when they've been doing viewings, and he was uh, they go, yeah, we've had some young couples, and um, yeah, we've had a lot of um, uh, retirees, a lot of old people. I'm like, yeah, they're probably the best people to buy off them. Actually, yeah, you know. Like, probably cash buyers, no messing about. It's like, yeah, you go with the old people. Because I just know I'm going to get some fucking at the ball come in. He's going to start DJing or something. Uh, uh, and an, I've got an, no patience. An elderly Asian couple would be ideal. I yeah, think. I think I said. If you could pick. And is that, are you speaking from experience there? A lot of no, el- just, elderly Asian couples in, <laughs> Hol- in Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> there isn't, but like, I'd love to see it. But I just think. <laughs> well, and when, I, when I was living away, because the walls are so thin, I could hear the fella next door snoring. And I used to I used to punch the wall every night to wake him up, but that lasts like what thirty seconds, doesn't it? When he falls back asleep, and I put me I put my hand through the wall, <laughs> just grabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, like next to your bed, and I just I just like, I was thinking I got pissed off one night and put me hand like put me hand through the wall. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then when I moved out, I just bought I'd cut I think, a little bit of wallpaper. And stuff I think old people. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I'd like Shawshank. Like rack out well. That's literally what I did. I got it from under the where the under the bed where the wallpaper because this is a rented apartment. Right. Cut a bit out with a knife and stuck it over. Right. And didn't say nothing. I think old people you aren't going to be a pain with noise, but they could be whingy at you. Where That's... they're quiet. We're really quiet. Right. Okay. Because our living room is on the other side of the house to the wall that we share, um, and so is our bedroom. The only thing that we share is a spare bedroom and the dressing room. We haven't got a so we're lovely. Yeah, we're sound. We've got dog owners on one side. They're dead loud, but they are lovely people and really like us. They're, they literally came to see my fucking tour show. They're so sound. My neighbour on the other side still isn't talking to... We're not talking to him. <sighs> that was rough at um, the Comedians Club Chester. I've run my gig in Chester and a lad came up after him and was like, all right, Dan, and we, I do a bit of a meet and greet. If anyone wants to say hello, they're welcome to say hello. But because it's in Chester where I live... yeah. We've got people from Sorgal, my village. In, and he was like, I live in Sorgal. I was like, oh, cool. He was like, I'm the nephew of your neighbor that you don't like. I was Ooh. like, no. I was like, oh, that. Had you done a bit about it? I talk about it on the podcast. Oh. Yeah. I was like, no, it's just a joke. Just he was like, <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Martin's a dicker. So Martin, Martin knows. Also, the people who move now are both doctors. So that's lovely to have next door. And the proper lovely people. Why is it Handy lovely to have, too? Like, Two doctors. Right. She's an eye doctor and he's a general doctor. So if anything goes wrong. Yeah. No but it, they could be like, mate, I'm I'm off. I'm out. No, we never have. I've clocked off. But I feel like, it, it, you know what I mean? An emergency to have two doctors next door. You I want think. the eye doctor. Even though he's a general doctor, you want to see someone with a bit of a speciality. See GPs. I just... Don't trust General practice. Oh, really? It's a bit vague. Jack of all trades. Yeah, that's what, you don't, that's, that's what you don't want to hear from a doctor. <laughs> the mil- I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah. Master of none. Be a master of one. Yeah. Get, the, get the eye yeah. doctor in. Specialize. Oh, um, yeah, you want to... I'm gutted. I'm so sorry. What are the dream neighbours if you... Them? If you Quiet think doctors, doctors on one side, a plumber on the if next. If they were Asian, two elderly Asian doctors, <laughs> you'd be laughing. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, trust me. I think the hold now for that. So they're going to be a while moving out. (laughs) Shane's moving to Blackburn. He's going to really love it. (laughs) Well. Just just quiet neighbours who look after your house. Have 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 I spoken about Brian on this podcast? What? Uh, Brian who lives in my road. Right. I think you might have mentioned him. He's lived in the road his whole life and his life is to maintain the road. Oh, he's the he's the captain. Yeah. He's Lovely. given himself the armband. So we've got Christmas lights all up and down the road and he, he puts them in and everyone's got hanging baskets and flowers in front of them. He puts he plants them all, wards them all every day. Oh what? His job is to maintain the road. If you've got a package that you've missed, they all know to go to his house and at six o'clock he goes and delivers everyone's packages. <laughs> now what's he looking in return for this? Nothing. But wait till the day does. He's the nicest. So <laughs> it's <laughs> not what I've got a, a body that I need better. Yeah. <laughs> after all he's done for you, he's I've like, taken in a lot of Amazon packages. Price. So um he looked after me cat. He went in to feed me cat and stuff when I went away. Well, he's making good money, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 35 <laughs> quid an hour. <laughs> he went to, I went, just go in one day uh, one uh, once a day, Brian, two days, feed him, make sure he's alive. Right. And leave. He's like, I just just once a day. I was like, Yeah, you don't need to feed him once a day. He's like, Can I not go in and like cuddle him? And I was like, Yeah. Right. He's like, Right, I'm just gonna because he loves cats. Right. 
So he, he went in and was like sitting with the cat and loving him. And he's like the nicest man in the world. So I got him a, he's got in front of his house, he's got 10 uh, watering cans. He's got like a setup. So I got him a big cast iron watering can because they're all plastic. And he loved it. Yeah. And I got him some plants and stuff and gave him it as a gift. And he was like, oh, yeah. And he nearly crying. Oh, like, oh. He was, he, yeah. <laughs> he's Palestinian. <laughs> he's a quiet Asian neighbor that you need. Um, but uh, he is like literally the captain of the road. Like he runs. I need a Brian road. on my street. Oh, he I is an I want to move to Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, I've got a bad captain and we ain't yeah. talking. That oh, dressing no. room's not good. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he sounds fucking great. He's, uh, but you know, there's loads somewhere. of those guys who are then absolute jobs worth. So yeah. you've got a fucking gem in Brian. He, he maintains the whole road, looks after everyone's pets when they go away, delivers everything, and he's lived there all his life. So it's like his. Titan, isn't yeah. it? The Spanish Quarter in Heighton is just, just such lovely. a lovely That's area. Live. I'm moving here. Up and coming. No, I think yeah. you'd like Bradford. Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably don't do the same joke twice. It was already risque, wasn't it? Yeah. It was risque. Um, let's have a break and um, we'll come back with some fucking correspondence. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Adam Rowe. This is my co-host, Dan Nightingale. Those Hello. Turkish hair transplants have come a long way. This week's sponsor is NordVPN, the world's best VPN service. Do you use a VPN, Dan? Yeah, I do use NordVPN, actually, for all my uh, VPN needs. And I have to say that it is a fantastic way to do, um, like, tenuously, th like, things that you might not think that you are allowed to do, but you are. Yeah, like you can set your location to not be this country. Yeah, yeah. Co Like, for example, you're a big Liverpool fan, aren't mm, you, Dan? I am. And you it, sometimes want to watch a Liverpool game, but it's not being shown in the UK because it's three o'clock. It is being shown, for example, in Canada. So you mm. set it to Canada, use a Canadian streaming service, and you can watch the football. That's sometimes what I do. But sometimes when I'm in London and I miss Liverpool, I set the VPN to Liverpool and just hang out. <laughs> It's also good, for example, if like uh, the Ukrainian Netflix has got a film on that the UK one hasn't got, so you set it to Ukraine, uh, you know, it's good for stuff like that. So if you go to nordvpn.com slash have a word, you get a huge discount off your NordVPN plan, plus a bonus gift, and it's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Get yourself a VPN, up upgrade your internet security, and, you know, go on live in Botswana for a bit, digitally. Um, you got a Liverpool date this mm -hmm. year. Yep. Give it a plug because we got some fucking lids. 19th of October, lads. Hot water. I think this is the fourth time I've done hot water. What happened the last time you were there? Oh, the time before the fire? Oh my God. Is that what you're talking about? I was there, yeah. Do you know about this? No. I was doing hot water <laughs> and it was a. I got there, realized it was a late show. See, when it comes to tours, I'm not really on it. So I arrive and they go, it's a like 9.45 show. And I was like, hopefully that's a.m. Because I'll need to go to bed. Yeah. And they went, no, 9.45 p.m. I was like, shit, I brought Vittorio to open. I was like, by the time I get on, it's going to be not that far off 11. I like to go to bed about 9.45 every night, right? So You're literally preaching to the convert. Right. The day hasn't even yeah. started. Yeah. Huh? You're wasting the day hasn't time. started at 10 o'clock. At night? Yeah. yeah. You are missing out on so much. Adam's the same. It must be a scouse thing. It must be cool here to go to bed late. Because I don't understand this. You know what's cool, guys? Rest. No, it it's isn't. Cool it's not cool. It's yeah, not it cool. Is. It's no, good. No, no. It's good. It's cool if someone tries to contact you. And when I was trying to ring you at 10 o'clock last That's night. That's awful. Go, Why yeah. would you try and contact me at 10 o'clock? Sometimes I'll go to the shop at 10 o'clock. What's your cutoff for a phone call at night? 10. Text I mean, I'll be phone. Text first as Text a first. If you phone me past quarter past nine, you better be dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't get a lot of calls. Tell me you're dead. Your house phone, but I haven't got one of them because you know, I'm not 50. No. But there's not, I've got no limit on me. I go airplane, airplane mode half nine. What the what? fuck? If anyone Have dies, no I'll find out about it over breakfast. <laughs> at 4 a.m. I can't be. I, I, I always say like, oh, I'm a sort of guy. See, if you need a lift to the airport or if you were having, if your car broke down, I'd come and help you. I would, but if my phone's off, I don't have to. That's <laughs> madness. No, it's I, not madness. It's madness to go to bed really late. Why? Because you do you know how many things just, happen Have you always midnight? been like this as well? Is this a no, no? There was a time where I was in denial and I was trying to be all like in my early twenties. I was like, <laughs> I stay up past eleven. You know, he's had his crazy days. When That's I want to do impress people and meet and meet new people, like there's times I was time, just having like three beers and staying up to midnight. He's but, never seen the countdown for New Year's Eve. <laughs> I swear I haven't. 
Sh- we went to do it like two Shut years ago. Shut up. We, like two years ago, my wife went to step for the countdown. And I was like, why? And she went, I'll set my alarm. And I was like, why would we wake up to watch it happen? What the Let's go to bed. fuck? Oh my I like to get up God. early, boys, and seize the day. New Year's Day, no one's up. But what time do you get up? Out of your own choice. I get up, I have to get up with me puppy at seven. But if it's in the on the weekend, like, I'm is up. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Nothing's happened six till nine. It Everything has. happens nine till midnight. Nature starts. No I get up around ten if I've not got anything on. Yeah, but he's a potter. <laughs> Can I just? But I'm a, well, my, you know my, what? My bed. My bed time. I'll like, be laughing when you guys are like, enjoying hell together. Average is like <laughs> three, four a.m. And you get up at ten. What? Yeah. Come on, bro. Four a.m. Yeah. Actually, when oh, I was your, why did we start talking about this? The gig late night. Oh right, I'm so sorry. So. I'll tell it really short. Um, <laughs> no, no, don't tell it proper. <laughs> Come so I interrupted notice. you. This I arrive. Funny. It's nine forty-five. Hot water. They're like, "Oh, it's sold out." I was like, "Yeah," but inside I'm dying, right? Because I'm like, "What time am I getting back to this Nova Tell it? Um, So I've just given away where I stay when I'm in Liverpool. Um, there's, there's like five of them. No one will care. Um, anyway, I arrived down to this gig, <laughs> and I go, "Let's just try and have a good time." Victoria's like, Are "You okay?" I was like. I'm fine, but let's just wrap this up. I'm, he's like, is your show an hour? I'm like, it's 15 minutes tonight. <laughs> um, so we get there and everyone's in and ready to go. And John's doing tech and uh, I think Binti's there and it's all good. And I'm like, it's, it's one of the last shows of the tour. And then all of a sudden, fire alarm goes off. And you know, nowadays when a fire alarm goes off, you're like, huh, you, you laugh. You're like, huh, it'll be off in a second. This stays on and people are running out of the room and going out the fire exits. And what's good is the staff kept her calm. I say that a manager walked into the room and went, it's a real fucking fire. <laughs> and I went, oh, well, if that hadn't said in that accent, maybe it wouldn't be this freaked out. But when it's a real fucking fire, I was like, ah. So <laughs> here's the That's thing. just the alarm. It's a fucking fire, I've lad. Ev- I've we, evacuated that room three times. The ba- it's and it's the basement. awful. It's the basement. Yeah. And I, here's the thing. I just, and I don't like the... I had just bought a coat that day at the Zara in Liverpool one and it may or may not have been 95 quid. So I remember running out and they were like, just run out. And I looked at Vittorio and we got to the top of the stairs and I was like, do the right thing. You know what I mean? I was like, Vittorio, go back and do the right thing. Go get my coat. But he, 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 didn't, he, didn't, he didn't bring it up. So I wasn't going to bring it. I was like, Vittorio, all oh, my coat's in there. He's like, oh man, it's only a coat. And I was like, I'll go and get it. So I I ran down like through the smoke through the smoke to get I remember going back to grab my coat and I was like, thank God, got out. The entire gig was out on the street. Yeah. Everybody was there, right? Twenty four people. No, it was it was <laughs> no it was, it was packed. Uh, in front of the florist looked like a forty like a forty stand. Yeah. Right. It was it, hundreds. It was of a people. whole road and it's yeah. it's people from back home mainly, so everyone's like singing and everything and you're out there with them and everyone's like what's happened and I was like I don't I don't know I don't know and we're standing there for ages and it's like 10 o'clock and I I was like it'd be mental for this gig to happen because how am I going to talk about any material after this like wild stuff's happened oh hot water will always be inclined to but I mean the the fire could have done serious damage three people could have lost their lives and Binti would be like we can run it at 11.30 (laughs) no we're just going to knock it back and that is what happened because there was a fire and and I I genuinely said to the manager like joking I went well thank god it was only in the basement she's like yeah yeah she goes don't worry love if a fire is here all the time I was like I don't tell me that (laughs) don't tell me that and and sort the problem the fire brigade came and and, uh, 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 there was uh, uh, during it all I'm standing there the whole crowds there me and Vittorio just stand there like what are we going to do Adam arrives and goes why don't we just try and do it in this bar across the road there's a bar across the road and what do you mean he goes me and you will go over to the bar ask the barman will they put the show on <laughs> and they'll get a load of custom out of it and you can still do the show and I went right we go over there's nobody else there and the barman lapped it you have that phrase over here he bottled it he lapped oh, right, it okay. yeah, yeah, he went spots. oh no I don't think so I was like alright we get back the, they're like oh we're going to do the show and I went should we not just like get it on a different night the audience are going to the off license at this point. Right? <laughs> we a went home- to flute. We went to pub next door, and there's a lot of guests in there. Just going, oh, let's yeah. Go for the Everyone party. just went for pints, and yeah. they were like, "We're still doing the show." And I was like, "This is going to be a disaster. Like that, we shouldn't be doing this." They were, and but by the way, they're like the the firemen were like, "There's still a couple of guys down there." There was like two guys, like the band in the Titanic. A couple <laughs> of guys were not leaving their pints. They were going down with their pints. <laughs> you guys from back home were like. We'll fucking see. bit of fire. Yeah. Like, what they before? flooded downstairs. They had the hose going down. They yeah. just flooded the downstairs. Yeah, the kitchen. The fire was in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, and and the staff kept telling me, don't worry, this is normal. I was I'm like, this isn't normal. Hot water's got a kitchen. It's a, it's not a kitchen, it's a keg room. 
Oh, right, right, all right. Yeah. So by the time we did, it was that late that they were like, still, I, do you still want to do a show? It was like, the whole audience definitely want the show to happen. So Vittorio did, we we're going to have 15 minutes interval, and then me, he was like, why don't I do a shorter set? So he did five, br took a bit of the sting out, like took one for the team, did some brilliant crowd work, and, and then was like, we all know there was a fire. I came straight on, and it was, and I was so nervous about it, because I was like, I have to do the tour show. Did like five minutes about the fire at the start, and then was able to do the tour show, and it was the best show of the tour. Oh, amazing. It was, it was so good. Wasn't it? And at the end of it, every some guy said, um, uh, Shane Todd's on fire, hot water's terrified. <laughs> yeah. And John put it on at the end of the show, in, in the room, the song, uh, Gala Freed from Desire, and everyone sang it, and I was bouncing up and down stage. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it was splashing. No, I was crying walking <laughs> like home. Fucking Peppa was, Pig. I was crying walking home, it was like 20 past 12 here. <laughs> <laughs> it's sleep. the next day. Yeah. What's um, the latest you ever been to sleep? Like, no, oh, I don't mean like night out. I mean like you're having a bad one. Like, oh, I'm gonna have some snacks and go to bed late. Yeah. Uh, we no, you be having snacks late. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> no, you shouldn't be having. No, you don't have snacks late. Uh, what time does Nando close? That's the end of eating. Um, the latest I eat is half eight. Right, but if I'm if of my own free will, say my wife and kids are, are away, and free house, I can go to bed whatever time I want, not <laughs> depending on kids' bedtime or anything like that. Go on. I promise I'll not exaggerate this. I'd I'd probably go to about eleven and feel bad about it. The next, I'd be like, fuck. I would be the big man, be like, I'll just watch the end of this, and I'd go to bed being like, I am a fucking lunatic. Like at eleven. That's wild. Hey, I, I I've got hot water tonight, and I thought I'd apply to just. Do the opening. I love the early show. And Binti messaged back and he went, Cool, first show t t time is this. This uh, stage time. Second stage time is 10 past 11. And my heart abs absolutely sank. So last night, I, had to tra I tried to train myself to go to bed later. And I got to half 10 and I was like, I was, I was falling asleep on the couch. When I, I used to go out at 2 a.m. on nights out. Right. You know the way they're like, oh, the, the club actually opens at 8.30, but yeah, everyone goes at yeah. like 11 or something. If not early. I'll be, I'll, I'll be there when they open up. <laughs> There's times where I'm leaving before anyone's arrived. There's yeah. places you can't go in town before 2 a.m. Otherwise, there's nobody there. I don't mind doing that, but that'll be the start of my morning. <laughs> I don't mind waiting You've already been to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's mad. That makes me. We used to anxious. go to club nights where it was like that, but obviously, again, it's the same as New Year's Eve. Mary, fucking not Mary Poppins. Sound of music. There was there was a, a hard house night in Manchester on the village called the Breakfast Club, and that started at six a.m. and went through to like midday. So people had been to a club night. Some people had been like home to an after party, and then because they were still pilled up, would go back out or they'd just stay out. And the DJs would just set an alarm. They'd maybe DJ the night before, go home, get some sleep, set an alarm, drive in, like they were commuting to work and start DJing at 6 a.m. They're like, yeah, yeah. If I you told me to meet club. you at the breakfast club at 6 a.m., I'd be like, great, what gluten-free are <laughs> Oh my God, it's so dirty. It was so dirty. Do you not feel like you're missing out? Nope. So what time do you get up? If, uh, um... Now, with the kids, it's different, but if I had my own choice, I'd probably have seven, something like that. It's nice. So you get a proper, like, ten Carl, hours this is coming for you, kid. This isn't. is coming for... I cannot wait for my kids to be older. They're all lying in. Fuck me, it's going to be beautiful. And you'll be like, oh, man, just have to get to bed. It's going to be fucking no, great. I get up at seven with the pup, so I'm still up early. Well, when I, go on, when I went on tour for the first time when the kids came along, and I was staying, obviously, by myself here in Manchester, wherever. I was like, brilliant. I'm going to stay in bed till like nine. I was walking hotel corridors at about seven. Me like, does anyone need burped? <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. I, if I, if I, no, I can't do it. I have to make sure that like everything's finished. No. Yeah. The day isn't done until midnight. No. no. What, even if you're just at home? Yeah. Things haven't finished Just yet. watching The Good Wife. I don't watch The Good Wife. What do you watch? Uh, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy, yeah. Yeah. Cannot miss it. Because if you don't watch it that night, it's not going to be on, is it? <laughs> That's how Netflix works. <laughs> um, we've got some... Oh, yeah, I'm on tour. So uh, 19th of October, uh, Shane, my tour is on sale, dannightingale.com. Leicester, Middlesbrough, Shrewsbury, where are you? 
because the tour <laughs> is selling really nicely. <laughs> Liverpool is fucking flying. All the Manchester dates good. London's good. But uh, yeah, uh, get on DanNightingale.com. Where do we find your tickets? TheShaneTodd.com. The Shane Todd. Shane Todd com. Com was taken. And with the Liverpool date, bring flares. Yeah. He loves it. You know, let's set that fire alarm off. <laughs> uh, question from Ross. What's happening, Lids? As a music fan, I find the changeover between bands sets annoying and boring just waiting about. So say a huge band or soloist like Lewis Capaldi, who I fucking love mm -hmm. and we want on this on this couch, is a fan of yours and asks you to do a 10, 15 minute set between bands would you do it with the potential to have your comedy heard by thousands of people each night? Buzzing for the live pod in Glasgow. Tickets at haveawordlive.com. Yes. Yeah. Um, Glasgow's going to fucking bounce. Oh, yes, it is. You know, we, we were talking about not boozing on tour. I, I, don't, I didn't booze loads on tour, but randomly had some really fucking heavy nights out, like after the restaurant special. Yeah. Um, I'm boozing at yeah, of all of these podcast live Dublin. shows. Oh, it's a Dublin. Newcastle, Glasgow. We're going to all of the fun places yeah, to drink. And Birmingham <laughs> will be fine. <laughs> Birmingham will be, will be good. I'll be driving home. Go for home. a curry. Um, <laughs> it is. Feels like, it. honestly, there's a subtext to what I'm saying. It yeah. feels like I've got a problem. The Midlands are getting it. Fucking mate, Birmingham, get it. Birmingham is great for a curry. I oh, know it is. And I will not say anything else. <sighs> but it's good for a Fantastic curry. Fantastic. What's curry? your go-to food when you're on tour? I'll bring my own. Pack lunch. You're a, f listen. No. You're um, a crazy, crazy guy. Nando's. Always. Oh, yeah, course, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's just solid, isn't it? Yeah. No, um, it, it doesn't matter. People are like, oh, I don't really like, no, it's just chicken and chips. Yeah, done amazing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Who's yeah. the band that if they asked you, you'd consider it? Like, usually, well, I think this would be a no for, for me, for most bands. It doesn't but, go, does it? Music and comedy in terms can, of can, serious can music. do. That used to be huge. That thing. Yeah. Like you meet loads of like older comedians who are like, I used to open for these bands and... Um, was it the... Who was the band? This is going to test your knowledge. John Squires was in after the Stone Roses. Was it the, the Seahorses? Sea yeah. I think the Seahorses used to have... Good knowledge, mate. Saw them live. So... Um, <laughs> you know Roy Walker? Catchphrase? Uh, yeah. Do we know um, his son, Phil? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say so what you say. Roy used to open for Tom Jones. What? Yeah, he used to open for Tom Jones doing like traveling all around and he would do a 45 minute set and then Tom Jones would sing his songs. But Roy, had, he told this brilliant story where he, uh, in Belfast, he was a lounge singer and did comedy. So they would have done all the covers of the day and he, he would do Delilah and all these Tom Jones songs. And when he did the Apollo with Tom Jones, he did like 90 shows or something. Um, a wee old couple from Belfast came up to him after and the, the husband went, oh, that was brilliant, Roy. Great to see you over here doing brilliant. And the woman went, I thought you were great, but I didn't like Tom Jones. And Roy went, oh, did you not? And she went, he's nicking your songs. <laughs> 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 I, I, I like the idea, but I, I, it's a novelty. It'd be something different. I wouldn't want to go on a whole tour with a musician because let's face it, it's probably going to be shit. But the idea of doing like an arena or... Some really cool venue. There's got to be somebody who you would love to be with on tour. Surely. Uh, I, I, well, I love the Rolling Stones. Plus, those guys are at an age where their routine's probably going to fit mine. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, eight, nah, I don't know. Nah, yeah, they're, they're staying up later they're than you. No. They're all talk. They I do hung. heroin early afternoon. <laughs> well, I went and then have a nice bed. I went to see them in Crow Park, and Mick Jagger kept disappearing. He'd like be halfway through a song, and he'd disappear slightly off stage. And, and everyone's like, oh, and my wife's like, I wonder what he's doing, because it looked like he was going to like maybe take coke. I could see him from where we were. He had a wee hanky at the side of the stage and was blowing his nose. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, that's God. so nice. I thought he was going to be having a piss. That's no, when you no. know you're old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many pisses do you need mid-show? Well, it's up to three. Yeah. Um, I get what Sh Shay means. It's not a, it's not a, it doesn't feel like it's going to be loads of fun. Lewis Capaldi, maybe. Because I think young girls though, right? You're the, fun, you're the fun crowd, don't you? So, like a non taking like who? No one's doing support for Radiohead. No, Do you like the court, the Cortinas or something. The Arctic Monkeys, like young. Oh my god, they'd be it'd be so rough. Cortinas, the Cortinas. Yeah, they still yeah. smashing out. Not nineteen forever. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, three times a set. Yeah. But like, I think that audience is what you'd be going for, maybe. DJ Yoda did a tour with a VJ, like a video DJ, and got Carl Donnelly to do support for it. And I went down because DJ Yoda's really good. Great. And the VJ thinks a very visual, it's part DJ gig, part live performance, but also like a, like a show. It's really good. But he wanted stand-ups to support him. And I went to watch Carl do it twice just because I was fascinated. And it was not, you know, when you're watching one of your favorite comics and there's just that, that, that sort of professional empathy of like, yes. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this doesn't look easy. Because people are just stood going, what? Yeah. What did yeah, Nate yeah. Bargatze say about stand-up when people aren't expecting stand-up? It doesn't yeah. feel like comedy. It just feels like a mean speech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that it, it, they, were, they weren't being dicks. Yeah. It just didn't feel like it suited the night. Yeah. Um, if I asked you to open up for me, would you? It was ours. It, this podcast has got to go arse over tit when you're getting me to support you <laughs> I'm just telling I'm not saying no because we never know what the I mean Adam's dead isn't he so I, is this sustainable is he going to commute um, yeah I would yeah I would yeah I bet that in mind cool but I think <laughs> <laughs> would you support me I, I've kind of have you've both supported each other kind of we do emotionally yeah get this get this band together because we've got big shows coming up this year. Fucking get your band together. It's happening. And then, you know. It's happening. Right. But with, like, I did one of your phase one shows when you were doing that yeah. night in Gallifrey. I didn't enjoy that. Nothing no, against, they didn't no, either. They that didn't. was key. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no one did. Uh, no, they did. They did. Yeah, yeah but I, just, I just felt it didn't. It didn't work very so, well. So what, what's hard for any performer, and I don't give a fuck what you do, is if you are not the reason someone's come to, come to the show. If you're at a corporate, you can have good corporates, but they're hard because people are like, what's this? We just came yeah. for our awards. If you do support for a band, it's in the same sort of thing. Like whenever you get booked for a gig and they're like, oh yeah, it's this festival thing and it's, you're on the main stage and you just fit like, it's shit because people are just sat there waiting for the thing they actually came to see. Yeah. And I think even though a load of people were lids that night, they'd come to see stand up and then you come on and they're like, oh cool, it's Finn. But they're also needing to go and buy a drink. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's, it doesn't yeah. work the way around. I don't think you can have a musician supporting a comic. Imagine like waiting for like, yeah. Like being a hot water and like a bus. rapper comes on or something. You'd be like, what and, the and, fuck? and like outdoor stuff, I did by mistake a gig for the Platinum Jubilee. Like I did, I got told it's an outdoor <laughs> summer gig and we went, yeah, sounds good. Uh, you can get a couple of mates to do support. I was like, yeah, brilliant. Got the venue. It was good money. It was like happy days. I said, what's it for? Like summer party mate, it's council organizing. I was like, uh. yeah, excellent. Got tagged in something on Facebook that I didn't really look at. And then a mate- <laughs> a Union Jack behind you. It was a purple uh, like Queens thing. Uh, like it was like poster of me with a purple background and the crown either side of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I went, that needs to be changed <laughs> immediately. Also, why is why is it saying this is for the jubilee? Yeah. And they went, it is for the jubilee. Oh, and I went, Shane's Jesus doing a march. Christ. So we, it was like a heated thing. And I went, can you literally not that if you're a, Bel a Belfast comic? No, you can't. You, you cannot do that sort no, of. You could, you could, because you can, because then you can. You can do stuff and like you can do. I do community festivals that would be considered one side or the other. I I do any of them. It doesn't. People want to come and see you. That's fine. Right. But I just didn't. Wasn't told what it was from the start. I would yeah, have went. That's yeah, going to yeah. be a tricky gig. The idea of a summer party outdoor sounds fun. But anyway, we went and did it. I was like, okay, well, look, we'll just go do this. And they took the poster down, and it, it was fine. Um, but it was really sad because we were told it's going to be seven thousand people. And the stage was set up for about 7,000 people. When I say it was maybe 300, it was a vast <laughs> open space. And they were watching live satellite from whatever the Jubilee th stuff in London was. And I was told half an hour and my openers were to do 10 minutes each. Guy, you know the way that at corporate you're always like, you know, if you're booked for half an hour, sometimes you'll be like, do you want me to just do, we'll do 25 and see how they go, right? So you're trying to like get your short a spot to be quicker. Guy comes up to me backstage with an earpiece and he's like, mate, I'm so sorry about this. And I was like, what is it? He goes, 
it's just the the duration of the set. And I thought he's going to go, I need you to do 40. Can you fill a bit more time? He went, I'm really sorry, but could you do just seven minutes? And I went, <laughs> I went, <sighs> all right, <Yeah. laughs> I guess. And I think I went under time. <laughs> like, Guys, thanks very much. <laughs> That's my best six. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, David Walker says, what's happening, Lids? Are there any celebs that if you met them, you'd struggle keeping your shit together? Footballers. Any, oh, is it footballers? I, um, at the Channel 4 Comedy Awards, the only pit person that made me go, oh, it's you, is a fucking TikToker. Oh, yeah. And I, because we'd had the free booze, and he's called Luke Hamner. He's a gay guy that does TikToks. My, uh, Laura sent me some... It's, it's quite general. <laughs> he's, he's here, does funny... Just funny TikToks. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I saw you. So fanboy. funny because Bill Bailey was there. You've got Catherine Ryan wandering up. There's legends everywhere. And it, it, in my head, I'm like, yeah, they're in our industry. I expect to see them. And we were outside. It's the end of the night. And this Luke Hamlet guy, and it's funny. Laura sent me them a few times. I like it. It's really well done. But I get it. It's not, it's, the guy's not famous. He's just doing well on like Insta and TikTok. And with a, enough beers in me, I just forgot that I was also a guest at the National Comedy yeah. Awards and that I'd been nominated. Yeah. I went, hi, hi Luke, <laughs> you don't know who I am, you're great. And he went, you he went, right, thank you. I went, right. I just caught myself and went, oh, what a <laughs> fucking knobhead. I did it with um, Charlotte Ritchie. Yeah. Who's yeah. Charlotte Ritchie? She was Oregon in Fresh Meat. She's in you right. now. Right, oh, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, uh, so I was looking for Bob Mortimer. I just wanted the picture of Bob Mortimer. I think if a fuck ever seen yeah. like a gimp, but I was like, it's Bob fucking Mortimer. He's an absolute legend. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't find him. And then I seen Charlotte Ritchie loads and I was with Finn. He likes it as well. I was like, I'm trying to go over and ask her. She can only say no. But then every time I go, she'd move. And I'm like, I can't follow her. Ah, yeah. So I just left it. And then we were leaving and she was stood outside. And I was like, now's the time. So me and Finn like go up and like she stood behind the door. And the door. I was like, Charlotte, can I uh, can I get a picture? And she went, oh, n not right now. I just went, cool. No! <laughs> you should have said when. When's good. Uh... Yeah, and I, I, as soon as she said that, I was like, she, I was like, she doesn't want to. So I kind of lingered for a minute, and I was like, oh fuck it, let's just. Did go. you think that was out of order, or did you? No, 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 I totally got it. She was talking to her friends, and she didn't know who I am. Oh, okay. But I was like, oh, oh, well, we took two L's that night. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it's it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because the. There, it's a, there's a load of comedians and industry people. In her head, she's like, there's no fans in here. But still, be yeah. sound. No, yeah, I, no, be I sound. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And there was a girl come up after 10 seconds after me and she said the same thing to her. So she's obviously getting it a lot. She's stood with her friends kind of out the way. And I've kind of like, but I, was, I kind of respected it a little bit more. I think, I think the time it takes to say not right now and no, but she didn't you might say, as well go yeah cool she didn't say cunty did she no she was like oh no, no sorry not right now I was like okay cool thinking I'll, I'll get another chance and I thought oh not right now means no yeah the only time I think you should well not that you should everyone does one thing the only time I'd be like no would be if I'm out with my kids that's it yeah yeah that's it Adam's is when he's eating if you come and ask for a picture of Adam when he's oh, eating, yeah. he will tell you to fuck <laughs> off <laughs> Yeah, don't. That's not. That gets. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw someone recognize me in Chester and went, all right, Dan. And then saw that I was with Laura and Etta and went, all right, cool. Yeah. Have a good one. Good. And just sort of, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sort of self edited. Oh my God, I made myself cringe with that. Um, footballers is the one. I, and it doesn't matter. If you play in the EFL League Pyramid, it doesn't matter where you are on it, <laughs> I'm going to faint. Yeah. I, in Liverpool. In that Liverpool one, Lee Trundle! Oh, yeah. It yeah. was Lee Peltier. Fucking hell. You used to play uh, Liverpool, Huddersfield, a few other clubs. <laughs> I swear, I saw, I was talking about getting that jacket in Zara in Liverpool 1. When I was buying that, he was in the shop. And I was like, holy fuck, I have signed this guy in Football Manager. Did you get a selfie? <laughs> no, I had too much respect for Lee Peltier. He would, <laughs> nobody respects Lee Peltier. He would be so nicely surprised to I be know. asked for a selfie. Yeah. Nah, I was like, do you know what? He probably gets it all the time. That what would you do if you met like Ronaldinho? <laughs> Huh? What would you do if you met, like, Ro I, I would probably die if I met Ronaldinho. The weird thing is, I put him on such a, like, I think when someone that high profile... He doesn't exist. No, nah, they're like an alien. Yeah, he's Whereas not real. Lee Peltier knocking about him, like, he's actually, like, <laughs> I could be his mate. Imagine if Ronald, <laughs> as long as Ronaldinho just went, yeah, not right now. In Zara. <laughs> no, I wouldn't take that, I'd be like, no, get, get a picture <laughs> yeah. with me. And I'd wait, okay, I'll wait <laughs> until now is okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah or oh, Zidane if I met Zidane I think I'd cry as well 
or Van Persie. But Van Persie feels more accessible than them too. We're at the comedy awards. We're the the if you want to call them like the bigger stars. Like were they just walking around and kind of talking to everyone? Or was like was there like a bit of a thing of like not the new school, but like people? You know, was there like the TV acts? No, they were all and, cool. Like, was all it, of them were was cool. it like a big mix thing? Yeah. yeah. It was it was a really nice mix of people. People that bought tickets to watch the show were in the, like the tier above. Everyone on the floor was uh, either industry or comedians or writers or right. like, agents and, and stuff. everyone was sound. Agents are pretty savvy because they've got a professional sort of duty to not be gimps. Uh, I think the the real risk is the newer, younger comedian or the podcaster that's never been to the awards yeah. because we're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> great well jack d jack d was like in the huddle next to us in a group and he turned to them oh I, lo I love your recent stuff to adam and even i was like oh that's fucked yeah, yeah he oh, actually class. he actually started the conversation with adam didn't yeah, he, he I was think. like i love yeah. i love your stuff joe lice made a beeline for you yeah. that was a nice moment yeah right at the end yeah that was nice yeah. he got very flirty later on as well mm -hmm. said that he thought i'd suck a good cock <laughs> i was like cool i think i would too i was like i spoke to laura's like i think joe lice sort of had a sh shoot of his shot Oh. She just said, and not, a shoot of his not right now. A shoot of his shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was right like, now, well, so. I'm married, but you know. Um, fuck, we need to get Joe Lysett on again. Absolutely. Shall we do some uh, underrated, overrated? Yeah. Yep. Literally, you just have to discuss whether you think it's yep. underrated or overrated. We need the jingle. Someone sent me the jingle being made. Should we just do it? Overrated, overrated. 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 Uh, but Bosh. Let's not clip that. If it's Lee Pelty, I'm going to say one of the most underrated <laughs> right backs. <laughs> <in the camera. laughs> Stuart Wisby says, Sup, Lids, can I get some underrated, overrated on this? Bacon. Now, we've sort of touched oh, on bacon before. I didn't even start. Where's, where do you come down on this? Bacon, because it's very highly rated. Underrated, overrated. What bacon are we talking about? I don't want to get too into it. Bacon is the most overrated food on the fucking planet. I'm going to go with you, but when you get unbelievably nice bacon, it's amazing. Do you know what's oh, yeah, better? Yeah. A better sausage. An unbelievably nice sausage is better than better bacon. Bacon, oh, well, I couldn't be a vegan because I couldn't have a bacon budget no more. Fuck off. It's not that good. What's the bacon where they get it very American style and it's super thin and very yeah. crisp? Oh, streaky yeah, bacon. Yeah. Streaky. Streaky oh, bacon, yeah. yeah. I think I like the least healthy bacon. Right. Yeah, so dirty, you don't want healthy bacon. Do dirty you? bacon. I couldn't live without bacon. Uh, it's come up slightly. We've mentioned on it. New Year's Eve overrated for Stuart Wisby. Yeah. It is definitely totally overrated. Overrated. Really overrated. The build up to it takes up all the time as opposed to the actual thing. Yeah, it's yeah. done in thirty. And, seconds. and uh, see, I'm sorry if anyone's into it. See, Odd Lang Sang. I don't know whether it's just a, maybe like here you love it or something. I, I feel like there's a big quiet tension in the room here. No, I I don't know why. <laughs> what lad? Odd Lang Zang is the worst. <laughs> you lost. Them. That's my fucking theme. Odd Lang Zang. I don't even know is the, words. the worst. See when people do that. Hey, all the oh, yeah, it's all the time. Is it about to Do you know in Japan when the shops are closed? Let's do a Kong. They play that Kong as well. They play that song. It's just like you know the shops are closed. What should we? What would you replace it with, mate? Anyone? Listen, I've got I've gone so for, so long in my life without a conga. I would love a conga. It's been fucking years since at a party, wedding, or someone's birthday. Someone went, should we just whip out a fucking conga? You, you, look, like a oh. you look like a conga guy. Oh. Sure. The front of the conga as well. Like you don't look like you need anyone else for a conga. No, I think we should be doing it at like Fabric in London. Take a bump of ketamine. Let's do a conga. <laughs> oh, I'd love the pilled up conga. Oh, that oops upside your head. Da, da, da. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Be amazing. <laughs> uh, no. Not, not an oops upside your head kind of guy. Get off the floor, you <laughs> fat fucking idiot. Oh my God. Uh, what about a cha-cha oh. slide? Rock the boat, the rock the boat, baby. Nah. A cha-cha slide? Cha-cha oh. slide. Oh, what about Wickfield? Yeah. No yeah the cha-cha slide's got the routine. Yeah. You, it's built into it. You keep oh, it oh, shuffle. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Has Wickfield Saturday night not got a fucking... Yeah, but it hasn't got those words as the yeah, dance moves. Stop. Did he do that? Yeah. The Macarena, banger. Cupid Shuffle, banger. How fucking Wickfield Saturday night right here? <laughs> Hasn't got a fucking do, 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 thing. Do, 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 do. A, a conga. Man. Let's make it happen. Conga's underrated. New Year's Eve overrated. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone gives a shit about congas, but <laughs> we've got some big shows coming up. <laughs> imagine, dude. Imagine. What's the world record on a conga? It's probably <gasps> Book the arena. Book the arena. 
We'll start the conga. There'll be two and a half thousand people waiting at the bar. We'll get them as well. I'm gonna say and we'll this, fucking uh, conga. Oh wait, there's a dog world record. I'm gonna say this 14. nicely. I don't think the arena could organise a conga. Yeah, yeah. Why no emails it? will be sent. Yeah. Why does it just bring up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, not then happy why about is it this. Only bringing up I don't know. World records of dogs. <laughs> only dog dogs. congas. Uh, human, human conga. Then think you need to write that. Peter Conga. Uh, uh, no, I don't think we're breaking this. 119,000. Guys, look, I'm Where was it? in the pod this week. <laughs> Miami. <laughs> and that was. You just... never know, the live shows might get up that number. We'll be all good. I, I don't. Just Mexican immigrants. Who is. Why am I being so controversial today? So... Who's reffing this? What? Because I feel like it's you've been my, my ex stepdad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the conga. You broke the line. It would have been a million that? people, but he was just too card happy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'd love a conga. But your New Year's Eve is uh, very overrated. Massively. But I think it'd be a good day to get married on, just saying. What? Good day to get married New Year's Eve. That's uh, so a really selfish invite. That. Why? Because everyone's... Want, is that Most people are out on New Year's Eve. Yeah, but you tell them in advance and then they're out is the wedding. All right, fair enough. I've been to a New Year's Eve wedding. Yeah, I feel like and everyone's always... Oh, a New Year's Eve wedding? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you said New Year's Day wedding. No, New Year's right, Eve. Okay, I think cool. like that's the best day for the wedding. Sh yeah. Just t taxi ranks on New Year's Eve are a very special type of hell on earth. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how good the night is. Paddy's yeah, day. That will ruin it. As well. um, sushi, Shane. Oh, underrated, overrated. Careful, I've got to look there. I don't know. I've not had the best kind of sushi. I've only really had it in like airports and stuff. Right. Where it's not even a sushi place. There's just like a wee bit of it that does sushi. Do you know, do you know what I mean? No, no, because I've never had sushi. Underrated. People, I don't like raw fish. Well, don't eat that one then. Yeah, I love or fish. I just haven't been to the right place. So I'm going to say probably underrated. Thank you, well done, Shane. Cool. Weatherspoon sushi, not good, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the um, bacon was actually good today. Oh, uh, <laughs> Shane came to Liverpool, was early because of the flight, and went, where in Liverpool City Centre can I get breakfast? And went, the spoons. The breakfast place, was, there was a place called The Vibe. I went, that's perfect. But it was closed. Closed. Yeah, because yeah. no one's away. Because everyone's yeah. with you. Because <laughs> yeah. you guys are so cool with your... <laughs> Probably opens at 2 a.m. for breakfast. Um, I'd go there. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, and the, the, last... vibe, the vibe is 7 a.m. That's <laughs> the when the vibe, vibe starts. You want to catch the vibe? Early morning. <laughs> um, being potted is the last one from Stuart Wisby. What does that mean? Wizzo. Jazz cabbage. Ooh. Getting, getting a, a, smoking a little boogie candle. The old boogie candle. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not. I think it's overrated. You're not. You're not a fan. You, I'm not a fan. What, what was it? What was it that put you off it? Did you get paranoid or not? Um, it doesn't taste very nice. It hurts my throat, and then it makes me feel weird. I mean, how many more things do you have to know that drugs isn't that drug is not for you? And anyone's like, oh, Dan, you just need to. Afford. I've tried everything else and liked most of it. It's just something about weed does not do it. Do and then watching that? Carl go puff, puff out. Was, I mean, there was a bit of a gap between it. Like, there oh, there was. was. There was five yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I didn't go like... I, I, <laughs> were you smoking crystal, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I felt like. <laughs> I just don't. You've know, never been a weed man? No, it's a, it's a total novelty for me. Like, Right. So, so I like it for that reason. So right. it's underrated. I enjoy it, but I've never tried anything else. Right. Yeah, same. Shrooms. I think Und it's shrooms underrated. Shrooms are underrated. Yeah. There was a time when I slightly exceeded the dose of night nurse, the recommended dose. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. What time was that? Well, I woke up at 9 a.m. So yeah. <laughs> it was a while. On. He went to bed at 5 p.m. So that was slightly early night. Um, this is from Tom. He says, underrated, overrated, a cura. Possibly the most underrated drink there is, according to Tom. Head of the dog. Oh. Oh, is that? I genuinely I was going to ask what a no. cure is. Hair of the hair dog. Of the dog. It's having a bevy the next day when you're hungover. Nah, not for me, boys. Is no. a is hair of the dog what you drank the night before, or is it just all out? Because I feel like I've never quite understood this. Is hair of the dog like you got pissed on tequila last night? You need to start with tequila. It's not, is it? I it's just, just any alcohol. Again, yeah. It's to settle your stomach again, yeah. And that's why Bloody Mary's the one. Yeah, vodka and a bit of fucking tomato juice in there. Bit of celery. Uh, no, I've, no, I've never been one for me. No. If I'm hungover, I don't want to smell alcohol. No. Will? <laughs> <laughs> Will's had continuous hair of the dogs for 12 years. <laughs> the work poo, and then we'll go for a break because 
Oh, hey, it's got a lot better here. Runcorn wasn't fun. No, the Run Run Corn was horrific. So um, Tom says, going back to the hourly paid days, does the fact that you're getting paid to drop the kids off at the pool make it much more satisfying or is it a load of literal shite? If I was on the clock doing a fucking proper job and I had the discipline of bowel to make myself shit just about, what, quarter past two, not in a break? Oh, yeah, totally. Go and take a 12-minute I used to go and sit in the toilet. When I was a bartender? Yeah, I worked in a call centre. Uh, yeah. yeah. You, you'd literally go and see what happened. Yeah. <laughs> Take a paper. Yeah. Yeah. And if someone came in, what are you doing? I'm having a poo go away. Yeah. But you're just sitting there on your phone. Oh, yeah. I think absolutely. Wonderful. We I mean, don't do it here. Yeah. I think it's rated, though, because I think I think the whole of the workforce. No. Nah, public poos, I don't rate anyway. Have you plopped here? I've shit here a couple of times. Oh, right, I'm okay. trying to avoid it. Tell you who has. Adam Rowe. Yeah, working with Adam and public poo and don't mm. go together. Not good. Oh no. Oh lad. There's a, dis- there's a there's a disabled toilet and we all respect it as a disabled toilet. It's basically <laughs> Adam's toilet. <laughs> and its disability is that it's used by Adam. <laughs> I know by the way, I know how that sounded. It sounded like I was like, that toilet must be disabled. I can't get it. It's, I know the toilet isn't actually it probably is not though, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not having shit in its mouth every day. PTSD. Why? Yeah, do people say like, oh don't go in that cubicle? It's like don't go in the toilet. Right, right. Because Adam's done a poo in the last hour. Lolly, let's have a work poo. Anyone? Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Get some sushi. (laughs) Hello, everyone. It's me again on my own talking about my absolute favorite sponsor. It's Athletic Greens. In all seriousness, I'm a grown ass man child and everything I eat is worryingly beige. I'm 42. I need to eat healthier. This is such a great cheat. It's AG1 by Athletic Greens. It's such a brilliant way to support energy and your immune system, gut health, liver function, hormone function, brain and neural function. I couldn't say neural until I started taking AG1 and now I can read more better. Uh, It's diet friendly. There's absolutely no gluten, dairy, corn, egg, lactose, sucrose, dextrose. You stick it in your little jar every morning, just down it. It actually tastes quite good. It's just going to help you live a healthier life. And also... It's absorbed properly when it's in this form. If you're taking vitamins and mineral like pills, it's just horrible. This is so much better. You'll also get some free AGD3 plus K2. And I don't know if you know about vitamin D3 and K2, but I do. And they're my absolute favorite vitamins. Store it in a little pot. That'll annoy your missus. She'll be like, it doesn't go with the kitchen. It does now. I pay half the mortgage. So... If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash have a word. That's athleticgreens.com slash have a word. Check it out. Sort out your general health. Nice one. I listen to camera. I want to apologize to the Asian communities of Blackburn, Bradford, <laughs> I'm Birmingham. <laughs> I just mentioned that. I insinuated that. No, might... you just mentioned they had an Asian community. Yeah, yeah which is and you, great. And, and you just said there's nice curries in Birmingham. Wh- which is great. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> what is your favorite take that song? Yeah. We're not invincible. Really? We're only people. <laughs> Apparently that's when uh, Gary started to get pissed off because Robbie comes in in that song. Takes some vocals. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is my favorite uh, take that song? Sure. Go on. No, no, no. <laughs> sure. <laughs> if I take that. Relight my fire, surely. What's the... No, um, no never, never forget. Lulu ruins Never that. forget's my favourite. Lulu isn't in it. Yes, she is. Is she? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, famously. Yeah. Lulu's in that song. Yeah. 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 There's no need for her to be in it, <laughs> but she's in it. <laughs> is that Lulu? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who do you think it was? Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Before his balls dropped. got Howard out. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Howard. From the Halifax. Um, <laughs> <laughs> was Jason Orange one of them? Yeah. Jason Orange and Howard grew up in my hometown. Really? Yeah. In my head, hard from the Halifax <laughs> ads. And- That's two weeks in a row that man's been mentioned. Do you know he was on GB News recently? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Howard. Oh, yeah, but he's... Brennan's here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Brennan's here. Brennan's here. <laughs> but like, Brennan's been on so much, so he's like, yeah, of course Brennan's he's here. He's always here. <laughs> I've been to the new studio. This is the hey! first time. Hey! Welcome to your first of 29 visits. Hey! hey! 
Howard from the Halifax. Yeah, he went on GB News. Do you know one of them like um, oh. when they're arguing for or against? Freddie does it, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. And I, think- <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Freddie does a lot. <laughs> Freddie doesn't say no to loads. Go on. Well, and he. Um, <laughs> he's a fatty. And, uh, <laughs> but I think he went on arguing like the wrong side. What? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I think they were like. Was it mortgage rates? <laughs> yeah, if that's what you want to call them. It's a big issue, though, isn't it, right now? Yeah. It's a fucking I don't disgrace. know if it's what GB News are mainly focused on. Don't they like... No, it's a part. It's a big part. Aren't they like it. anti-Europe, anti-immigration? It was on Halifax changing the pronouns on their their customer assistance badges. Does he yeah. even work there anymore? <laughs> Not anymore! anymore. Because <laughs> he won't fuck around with the pronoun game. Here, a surname for a pound. What is it? Don't look. Brown. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I know that. Because you've just seen it. But I know does. it. And I want to add a, an apology to Howard and all the people of... Do uh, you reckon he uses that for, with birds? What? Listen, girl, I was the Howard. I was Howard. He still is. I was the geezer back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Do yeah. you know if you get all the women that he's shagged, they, you could, they just make him stand <laughs> in a giant X. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, they give you extra. <laughs> In Dover. He um, therefore gets pussy, Howard. Oh, therefore. yeah. I reckon he does Freshers Week still. Yeah, all them PAs. Yeah. Like, yeah, do you know yeah. when, like, Chesney Hawks and um, uh, what's the guy did Get Your Own Back? Dave Benson Phillips. Yeah, they all, they all do him, don't they? And I bet he turns up and he just goes, who gives you extra? And they all go, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> I was three. He's in, um, he's in the office. Yeah. yeah. Doing a, a, is he? Oh, yeah, doing yeah. a PA. Yeah. 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 He, so, like, it's the, is it the Christmas special? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's Howard from the Halifax is himself doing a PA at a nightclub. And a girl from EastEnders, is it? Uh, Bob, yeah. A bubble from Big Brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's in so it. So nicely done. And he fucking throws a drink in his uh, He actually thing. works in a Halifax now. <laughs> <laughs> Odd. That's us in five years. What Big Brother? It's the lads from Have a Word. Hey, the rubber <laughs> soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're never doing PAs. <laughs> never. You'll have to at some point. Never. <laughs> no. <laughs> That way he whines, fellas, doing them now, isn't he? He's got oh, a song. Why? He's yeah. got a song. Yeah, that's, that's it, a main, I mean, you asked me to come and do this. The main reason I've come to England is to get to, to there. Yeah, to get to get myself some prime. It's a fucking cretin. <laughs> I remember years years ago, I, I opened a, a Weatherspoons in uh, Billingham. <laughs> dressed as a it cha- sounds cha- like you just work there. Yeah. I opened it. I opened up. it. <laughs> they just let me be duty manager for the day. It was great. A Weatherspoons in where? Billingham. Billingham. No, yeah. Where's near that? Middlesbrough. Near Middlesbrough. And it was, I've talked about being on Panto before, but it was when I did Panto with Jake Canuso. He was um, one of the Spice Girls back in dancers and in Benidorm. Oh, he sounds like a mob boss. <laughs> he's, he's not. Canuso. He's Louis Spence's friend. Um, <laughs> he's and, not a mob boss. And uh, yeah, we, we had to boss. cut a ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, Carl. No, we didn't need it. No. I do a decent Louis Spence, but I'll not. Go no, on. come on, do it. Do it's it. Louis Spence, darling. <laughs> It is. Sorry. That was really good. Oh, no. It's a decent Louis Spence. <laughs> How, Billingham. We people went to see you, didn't they? I remember <laughs> it, seeing it on Facebook. Yeah. People went on to support you. Can were I? You, but you weren't buttons, were you? Were you? No, I was uh, Chinese Aladdin. Oh no. What? <laughs> oh, no. I was Chinese Aladdin. <laughs> what year was this? Uh, 2015. 2015. Oh, too recent. Too oh, recent. It was, it was before racism. Yeah, yeah. So it's fine. Can I ask, what did you have to do when opening the weather? Street? Like, did they? Say, did you have to be there for an hour beforehand? Did you cut a like? No, we walked up in our costumes, and then those scissors won't work, and because I was Chinese lad, and I just, ah, and it was fine. <laughs> 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 it's okay, Aladdin no, will do it. <laughs> <laughs> was there any uh, not allowed things within the Billingham Panto? Oh no, it was <laughs> all. It was too much. The guy who directed us had a keyboard tie on. Nice. <laughs> He's dead now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dougie he Summer. Himself. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but yeah, he, he would be like, so these two mm, go into a bar, and it'd be like that's the jokes of it. There was right. characters called Ping and Pong. Oh, you told us this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Right. It was, it was, it was lacist. P- there was characters <laughs> called Ping and Pong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I one was, one was a midget, that. and they kept referring to him as a midget. Small nice. Person. Okay. On, that, on the on the poster, it said midget from small Phoenix person. Nights. Oh. A, s- a s- small, small. Person. Yeah, person. but they didn't refer. Small man. Did you small did you get a few quid Jim for opening the Weatherspoons? No. Or was it, that just it, part of the it pay was just for part the of the deal? Shit. Yeah. 
Uh, I've said this before on pod, but you've got to hear it. Preston Playhouse 2013. Our mate from Youth Drama was still doing like stuff at the Preston Playhouse, like amateur dramatics, and we went to see the Panto. Now we'd all been in the Panto like early nineties, mid nineties. This was 15, 18 years later, and she was like, "I still love it. I still do it part time." And it was Aladdin, and the policemen were. What went wrong? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and who done pong? Oh, who done pong? <laughs> Which is who even wrong. It's who almost like pong? Billingham are gone, that's a bit on the nose. <laughs> Let's just go with ping and pong. Yeah, don't do the thir- first thought, <laughs> do the second of it. Don't do a full sentence of racism. Um, uh, yeah. Best time of your life. No, I hated it. And I got in trouble because I hated it. Because I'd mark it down. I had, a wa- I had my own dressing room. And I was like marking down the days because you do two a day. And then the dame came in. This guy called Craig who would nosh people off in the break, like in between the two shows. That's part of the ticket price. It's part of the ticket price, yeah. It's the first I just meet, wanted to chuck guys. <laughs> but we spell M E A T. Um, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and because Grinder and Billingham, I don't think it's that. So it's just like four men that was like, oh, there's a new gay. And then Craig would go out and nosh him off in the in the car park. <laughs> Um, How shit is it if you're small town grinder and be like, wow, no, that cunt's 120 yards away. (laughs) He's behind you. (laughs) 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 We're going to make great dads. It was a dad. I know you're a dad. He's no, not. I'm both a dad dads? too. Both dads? Oh yeah. I mean, if you, I did you, you did you just say to me, we're going to be great dads? Like, yeah. <laughs> Sounded like such Someday. a dick, didn't it? <laughs> Guys, keep going and you'll stop being shit at being a dad. <laughs> All right, hey, we're dog dads though, aren't we? Dog dads, yeah. Mm. Four calf. Yeah. Your child doesn't shit on the floor. I didn't buy my child in a shop. I well, that's what me and you I did. did. <laughs> <laughs> and she was going very cheap. Uh, <laughs> Went to a breeder. No, I, well, I, I went to a, I went to a breeder, but <laughs> I, I think it's fat, like a grand compared to eighteen years worth of pay. Exactly. Oh, right. oh we yeah. just paid up front. You got it on the catalogue. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, little boy. Lay away. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's not the same though, is it? Yeah. yeah, I get up early and I have to clean shit up. Yeah. What else do you do? Just your dog shit in the house. I mean, he's only a puppy and he's learning. Mm. Yeah. Your dog shit in the house when you first got it. Yeah, but like five months in, in dog years, that's like a five-year-old shit in its own pants. No, it's not five times one. It's five months times seven. That's not five years old. Try again. What? What? Three and a half. Yeah, there you go. Toddlers still shit the kex, don't they? No. <laughs> Slow ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lads, usually, I'm not even joking. A lot of lad toddlers are like, why am, why, what are you doing? Potty train. Yeah, yeah. Why just shit stood here yeah. and then you change it? Adam still does that. <laughs> why don't I not go there and fucking stress myself out? Why don't I poo my, my nephew is nearly fucking four. Like we've got to sort him out. Shit in his cacks. Yeah, he's just, cu- well, I understand. Yeah, why yeah, would yeah. you want to change? Yeah. You'd be like, I just, why don't I just poo here and stay on the iPad? Yeah, but you can't oh, be at uni yeah. and then be like, your mum drops you off and then you still yeah. go in. Right, well, someone's going to have to do it. The six of us. <laughs> no, are okay, yeah. false. there is a turning point. You're still a virgin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's discrimination against my type. <laughs> Girls are just a bit more switched on to it, I think. I think girl toddlers are just a, a lot ahead of boy toddlers, aren't they? Don't they like start getting things earlier? Well, I'm seeing a lot of differences now because I've got a six year old daughter, but I can't. I think the being a parent, you sort of block a lot of the mental stuff out. I think there's honestly a chemical in your head after you've become a parent that sort of releases to make you forget how painful it is in the first two, two and a half, three years. Yeah. So you go, you know what we should do? We should do this again. You wake up optimistic every day. Yeah. And that's mental. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're like Frodo and the boys every day. You're like, <laughs> we're, we're going to Mordor here. Defo. She she that you go dogs? back. Yeah. But by the time you, so now like, I know Etta was like, a baby and it, there was all sorts going on, but Etta, Etta, <laughs> I was like, I, I was love a Samuel Etta as much as the next man, but <laughs> I was a he's, got Sam, he's got Samuel Etta on last name. Yeah, <laughs> little, little, little Ibra, he does not take any shit. <laughs> Ibra is a cute I've shielded myself. <laughs> oh, by the way, if they're not rated underrated, I ate that cunt. Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic. Yeah. What a fucking triad gobshite he is. Oh, wow. I... Honestly, I'd, I hope someone's named their son after Zlatan. That would be so That's good. Definitely there must be oh, in the definitely. UK, yeah, yeah, yeah. someone's gone Zlatan. Yep. We should have named Jack Zlatan. He gives off such Ibrahimovic energy. 
just doesn't give a shit. He's such a little gremlin. And now we, we're looking back going, Etta was pr like in my head, Etta was two years old going, father, what should we do today? But of course she wasn't. She was probably just a little gremlin as well. But compared, he just looks so fucking feral. And, he, and she's so nice with him. And, she, and she, he's like, stop. Yeah. yeah. Get off. iPad. Yeah. Pepper. He's just such a ball bag. <laughs> Proper Ibrahimovic energy. I think that's like second child sim syndro syndrome symptom. Syndrome. 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 syndrome, syndrome, second child syndrome. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> like I, <laughs> I got. I felt, do you know when you say a word, you're like, mm. I don't think we can say. You can say syndrome now, can't you? Yeah, you can yeah. say syndrome. Yeah, you just can't say the yeah. other like word. Pass before. down syndrome. Pass down syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I, uh, my, people, people were talking about <laughs> lockdown syndrome with kids. You know, like you know the changes are the way they are socially and that kind of thing my dad was telling everyone that my son had a locked in syndrome <laughs> for a long time isn't that when you're like aware but you can't yeah verbalize yeah so people, when people saw him run the bad ass they were like this guy's improved <laughs> 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 very quickly was that locked in syndrome they just hadn't seen the outside world and all like no 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 it's it's like a condition where like you're conscious but you can't move Bruce Willis has got it now who Bruce Willis? No, he's got no. dementia. No, he's got dementia. No. no, I thought he's got locked in. He, he's no, getting... he's got something else. No, he's it's got the thing Cammy's got. It's yeah, he's, like... he's got lockdown syndrome. Oh, I thought he was getting locked in. <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, he's still not right after <laughs> Hans Gruber. <laughs> Hans Gruber syndrome. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about, Brendan. What were we talking about? Oh, we're going to be good parents. Yeah, but also... Second child syndrome. Second child syndrome. But also... My sister, when she was born, hated my brother. He's three years older. So much so that when once he got out of the bath, my sister tried to bite his cock off. <laughs> <laughs> he came down onto the bottom step and he was like, Mom, I need a towel. And my sister just crawled over and she was just like, ha! and my mom just went, Whoa, and she nearly bit his cock off. <sighs> I tell you what, Brennan, whenever we book you, whenever we book you. Is that so mad? Well, no, whenever we book you, there's always that thing of like, Brennan's done it a few times. Oh. I wonder where we'll go with it. You've never not turned up. <laughs> With some absolute oh, random fire By the way, his family gold. used to be a circus family. That what? was the act. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cockless boy. He spits or, it up. as Howard would say, they, them. Spits uh, it up somewhere. <laughs> the cockless them. What the fuck? How old was she? Um, 12. No, she was about two, three. Right. Okay. So she had. She must have had teeth. Yeah, but she did Because that's, that's a tough removal of a cock with gums. <laughs> that is just a long old sock. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh wow oh, my wow god. Oh. anyway oh. shout out howard from the halifax <laughs> <laughs> oh Fucking god hell. your your little ones are the similar age to dan's aren't yeah. they so you must have some of that um experiences yeah i you've got a two and a half year old two and a half and six months oh no you're yeah you're still in the the blast zone we're about you? to do our first trip first like on the plane <laughs> holiday <laughs> Uh, uh. That's not that's not for me. Like long haul or no no no, it's a short flight. Like, but I mean, I'll be in business. But <laughs> <laughs> we took we took Jack away when he was a year old, and it was one of the worst decisions I've ever made. And when he was crying on the plane, I felt myself like almost giving dirty looks to my wife. Right. You know when people are like, yeah. oh fuck yeah, the baby, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, come on, sort it out. I was like shit is mine, yeah, yeah. You can't fucking give people shit eye when it's your kid. He was just, it's just too young. Do you never just want to talk at them though? Like, so you join him with everyone else. He's just like, okay. yeah, I was like, oh, God, <laughs> awful. I'm not with these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we were talking about Australia. Like I'm about to do Australia. And no, people, you're people not taking go, them to Australia. I, of, of course I'm not. And people are like, oh, you're bringing the kids? I'm like, absolutely not. Although I did, Chris Kemp came on my podcast, if you know Chris. Love him. And um, we were talking about doing Australia and he, has, he had kids the same age. And we were talking about that. And he, he said, oh, I went to Australia. And he said, I brought the kids. And I went, I'm, thinking like back me up here Chris I'm like yeah but mine are under three though and he went yeah mine were under three at the time I was like Chris shut the fuck up That's I'll be insane. honest if I took my family to Australia with the kids there'd be a chance I came back without them there'd be yeah once you'd done that flight you'd be like I think you've emigrated now so stay here yeah Daddy's, I've done it on my own daddy's going back to, to Chester <laughs> leave yourself just there. release you <laughs> into the outback I remember once go because you go to Dubai and then you go Dubai to wherever in Australia yeah. And I had about seven kids around me of varying ages between like three and maybe like 16. And their parents had fucked off into the, the front bit. And this kid for about six hours just kicking the chair. And I went, stop. And he went, no. 
and just kick the chair. Like, <laughs> it's crazy that, that wouldn't rationalise him. Because you feel like you're telling on kids as well. Like if you get the, um, do the dinger and get the- um... <laughs> Do the dinger. <laughs> I'm on an international flight. Uh, it's so great. I love it when you just remind us that you know that. <laughs> I, I were going really far away and I did the dinger. I said, that little bastard's going to get his fucking job, bro. I'd, I'd, I'd do something horrible to him. Like what? Throw tea on him or something. Bite his cock off. Throw tea on him? <laughs> Bite his cock off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, oh, when he kicked me chair, oh, you made me- what, Over the top? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, it's free booze on long haul flights. Get him like, Can I get a gin and tonic? Nice one. For him. Just <laughs> 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 comes past them round. Imagine their parents came back and they're just all twatted. <laughs> like, they give a fuck. If you're going on a long haul flight and you're a rich animal and you're like, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do, because we're wealthy, we'll buy childcare Basically, on a long haul flight. Is that a thing, yeah. You got. We'll go in first. They won't appreciate it. We'll just release them into the crash that is think. coach. I think there might have been a problem. Oh, it's genius, but it's <laughs> fucking awful. We were going from Dubai, right? Dubai, Dubai, <laughs> Dubai, D Dubai. I pressed the dinger <laughs> to <laughs> Australia. Right. So I think their parents might have been a bit livid if I start feeding them alcohol and bacon. Oh um, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I'm. I filled my quota on that banter today. <laughs> yeah. It's been pretty big and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big quota. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well, I listen. If you ever do panto again, I'm there. Great. And I'll take mushrooms. I think you should do a uh, have a word panel. We're gonna do a nativity. Scouts nativity. Scouts nativity. Oh, nativity. Live. Yeah. 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 But this is that's scripted, isn't it? That's the thing you yeah. need a script for. And I suggest that that's not where Have a Word really flourishes <laughs> as I think a company. You can go off script, though. Right. Like the donkeys, you know, like a, like a BM, but on lease. <laughs> and like the, the presents be like one tens, like weed and, you know what yeah. I mean? Scouts are fired up, lad. I don't know what you've just said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Speaking of live events, we just did Comedian's Charity Boxing back home. Right. And we were thinking about for the next one next year, if we do it again, make it a, do it in the arena in Belfast. And have Belfast versus the rest. Ooh. So guys from here, guys from Scotland. Belfast else. versus the rest of the world. What do you think? I think it sounds great. Yeah. And I wish you every luck. Who do you want to fight? Um, who do I want to fight? Uh, Kieran. Kieran Bartlett? Yeah. I'll That's take a money Kieran. fight. I'll take, I'll take Kieran. Who are you fighting? I'm getting mm. nowhere. We'll have Dave Longley for you. Dave Longley? He yeah. sounds hard. I don't want to fight Dave Longley. Oh, oh no, don't fight Dave Longley. I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight anyone who's um, is going to beat me. His shoulders <laughs> look like that sign. Like he's he's big unit. No. He's a square, man. No, he's no. A I square. need to fight like... Um, Who did you fight this time? A guy called Johnny Bo. Yeah? Yeah. Beat him? Yep. Congrats. One and oh. What was it like being... Someone still had to go, but neither have said ever fought. When you get punched for the first time, you can't gauge how hard a punch is going to be until you meet him. Neither of us had ever punched or been punched. Maybe. Ever? Not really. Well, like playing football, like silly scrap or something. Nothing major. Um, and then when we were boxing, the first session we went to was with junior amateurs, like hyped 18 year olds <laughs> who like do this all the time. And I was in the middle of the guys like, right, let's go ahead and square off with this guy, like in a proper ring. And I was just about to ask the guy, like, how serious are we taking this? He'd hit me twice by the time I got that sentence ready. I was like, <laughs> Right, well, we're obviously taking this serious. It was so good. And actually getting hit wasn't that bad at all. Because once you've been hit once, you went, right, well, this is a bit of fun. Like, it was just such a novel experience. I was like, never going to do this again. And the adrenaline and stuff, you don't really feel it. You've, I always felt it like the next day. But it was class. It was so good. So the amateurs, you sparred with them just as Juniors, part of the training. They're taking it easy. We're going full. Clip. But they're just lightning fast. So fast. Yeah. And like kids. So they're the like Belfast dancing about. The boxing scene is unbelievable as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's great to be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I got a tracksuit made for the fight and I had like, my my nickname is Sugar Shane, right? So it's like Sugar Shane Todd. It's got Tea With Me podcast on the arm. It's got sponsors and stuff. And someone went, that's a nice uh, tracksuit. I was like, I can only wear this today. I can never wear this <laughs> never. again in my life because I'm a dickhead if I wear this tomorrow to the shops. Yeah, but you trained, didn't you? Oh, like no one's ever trained before. Really yeah. went for it. Yeah, because I never was saying that like it was embarrassing. Like, oh, you're really taking this serious. I was like, yes. I don't want to get beat up. Like, so I'm going to put everything I can into this. And Johnny Bow's not, he's a big guy. Yep. Bigger, yeah. Yep. David V. Goliath. What? Yeah. David V. Goliath, a lot of people were saying. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Yeah. He's about to, what? Did you knock him out? No. Did you knock him down? 
No, no, no. There was no knockouts. No, the standard was unreal. Like, it was really good. Like, the fights actually looked good. We live streamed it. And watching it back, you're like, everyone looks like they actually can box. But um, I knocked his tooth out. But no. it was just screwing. Ew. So I don't, oh. know if you're giving, <laughs> I don't know if you're giving me that. You know? Just with loads of little tiny t-shirts so it unscrews. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So technical. You're so precise. I'm that fast. I took his gum shield out. Yeah, unscrewed. <laughs> Threw it down. He's going for the molars. Yeah. yeah. He's got a bayonet you, tooth. You wouldn't do it, would you? I wouldn't do it. Adam has done it. Adam's already done it, hasn't he? Yeah. I don't know if Adam would do it again with his shoulder, but I think he he'd be, be tempted. I think he'd be tempted with just because he gets competitive. I'd do, yeah, it. I'd do it. I'd love it. I think you'd be great at it as well. I reckon I'd be. I reckon I'd get thin again, and then I can like start. I'd love to scrap. You can't go wrong if you win. It's a great feeling. If you lose, well, you're a comedian. You're not supposed to win boxing matches. You know what I mean? It's like. But I'd bite an ear off like Tyson. Right. I'd right. go. I'd be pulling air and shit. Yeah, would yeah, yeah. you fuck? I'd be well at- Would around. you bite a cock off? <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the ding ding. It started. <laughs> Give me that sign. <laughs> and now Brennan Reese is fighting a child from the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> it's payback for Australia. <laughs> Who would you want to fight? Comedian wise. Well, it's got to be Northern Irish. Oh, Northern, Northern Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can it be- Okay, how many Northern? I'm trying to think of Northern. He's going to set it up. Who yeah. would you fight on the UK circuit? On the UK circuit. Oh, there is some comics that I actually don't like. Who? Um, who, who would I love to punch? Who I mean, I like? know we can't. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else just went, now I'm very interested. Yeah. Brendan's about to make this a salty episode. <laughs> but you have to fight a man, don't you? Amanda. A man. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Amanda Holt. Oh, I'm not oh, doing I... it then. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who would I love... I think Adam would be a good fight. I love what? Adam, by it's the way. It's good to do it against a mate. So me and Johnny are mates. That's fun. Yeah. You know? I think it, it can be a, a real animosity. It has to be like jokey. Because there was bad blood. There was real bad blood between some of the people fighting. And that looked not fun to me. Because in yeah. the lead, lead up to it, they were like so intense. That's what I, happens when two people roast each other who don't like each other. And do you right. know when you're just going, you've just called her a cunt. Right, yeah, With no yeah, punchline. Yeah. 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 He's like, yeah, I think she's a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think with the roasting thing, you, you need to sort of, you need to feel like the affection of like, oh, it's piss take banter. Otherwise it just does seem like high end bullying really, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas we take the piss out of each other. It's different. Yeah, but as soon were, as you know there's animosity. To, yeah. If, if, if someone else came in and said something about you, but like, who the fuck are you? Yeah. I would hate to fight Adam. I'd hate to fight you. I just, uh, I think it'd be awful. Do you know I'd like to fight? But, but they'd love it. Bear in mind, yeah. you've a hair guard on. You have massive gloves. The chance of you hurting the other person are pretty slim. No, but I do understand what you mean. I'd only do body work. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Can't wear fucking pads on your bell end. <laughs> Actually, can you the cup on you? Is your bell end tucked up <laughs> in the bell? Oh, <laughs> just no. pop it out, little gum shield and head thing gun. <laughs> oh, just cock off. I, I'd love to fight Freddie. Because oh. it'd be like fighting, like, do you remember Butterbean, the wrestler? Oh, why? Yeah, but he, he was just be great. But he was good. Yeah, I know, but I could just run around. Yeah, you pass out. You can't even breathe in his sleep. So he's not going to be able to breathe in his sleep. <laughs> well, that's why I said Kieran, because I was like, I'll try, like, I'll go for speed. Kieran. But if Kieran hit me, I'm I'm going night night. Kieran can kick the same height as his head. I'm out. What? I didn't realize that. He can kick the same height as his... he, he said, he told me he used to do judo. It's Kieran Bartlett. And Kieran like, Bartlett's no. a, a big yeah, lad. Yeah, big yeah. Guy. He's a big guy, right? And he said the same himself. And he said, he, can, he said, I can kick really high. And I went, oh, high, high. And he said, I, I could kick level with my own head. And I was like, you can't. During the podcast, we had to stop the podcast, go into the car park. You know when uh, Brent uh, and Chris Finch threw the, boot the kettle over, over the, 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 the kettle over the pub? Yeah. It was like that. All of a sudden, man does a quick stretch and then boom. <laughs> kick, kick my hand level. <laughs> Best thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm out. I used to be able to get my leg behind my head. <laughs> <laughs> I did. When I used to pretend, like try and suck myself off, uh, like in my teenage years, <laughs> have you ever I, had a colonoscopy? <laughs> <laughs> he gave it himself. Can you try? No. I've got to try. I don't, I, in I, jeans as well. No, oh, oh, no. what a great way to pull a hammy. Get your pants off. I reckon this could. This I reckon you can do this. You know. Oh, oh shit! Oh, for the audio. Oh listeners. my god! Brendan, oh, these Brendan's well. Be serious. You want me to help you with it? Like, oh, would that hurt? Oh my god! There's your thumbnail. Oh, there's a man who's uh, dying to get pegged. You've not done bad yeah. there, though. Not bad. That. Bit of loosening no. up. Like, belly. Yeah. yeah. But why? Play. Why do you know how to do that? Because uh, I used to try and suck myself off quite often. <laughs> how often? Uh, like usually, every day. Every day. Yeah. What was the closest you got? I got yeah. in. 
I had to go. Oh, oh, but like, oh, but like, no. but like, did you just did you just get your mug to the end of it, or you got like you got? No, I wasn't. I wasn't getting to the shaft. <laughs> right. But I got over the bell end. <laughs> right. It's weird when you've got your own bell end in your own mouth. Oh, <laughs> I got is it? Yes. Yeah, weird. Because I've got quite a um, prominent. Family history, you bit your <laughs> yeah. own dick off. My sister was giving me tips. She's like, this is how you get a cock in your mouth. Get your teeth out. The whole United Squad one. No, what I used to do is... Because <laughs> I'd finished school. Like, my school finished at half two every day. So I, I was able to go home before my mum and dad got back from work. So I'd re really put a shift in. And then uh, me, me and my brother used to have bunk beds. In flight. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd get on his bed because he had a double one. Do you know those 90s ones that did that? Right. Oh yeah. So I'd be on the single one, so, but I'd get down on the, and then I'd get on the bed, <laughs> my <laughs> technique, <laughs> and then push off. Oh, uh -uh. Legs, legs in the air, audio and listeners. Just try and get the tip in. Oh no. And then one day, and yeah, T tilt the mic. <laughs> so <I'm literally laughs> that. And then you do the tongue, fine. <laughs> Then you get your lips on. This is the thumbnail, cool. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was one day, and I don't know whether we had just had some Sunny D or some extra energy, and I managed to get the tip in. And I, <laughs> I mean, I don't, don't know why, when I'm quite a nice boy, but whenever I get around you guys, I, yeah, I come in my own mouth. And it was, hor it was horrific. So you got it in and then sock properly <laughs> and got it? <laughs> Brilliant! You'd already done enough! You'd done enough! You told us that the dick was in the mouth. You you went above and beyond. It wasn't, you should have held something back. It wasn't weird till you came. It wasn't weird. It wasn't weird till you came. Like, to have your own dick in your mouth, weird, but to come in your mouth, like, that's... Yeah, but if, if you're going to go to, I don't know, let's say, if you're going to go to America, you're going to have a look at the Statue of Liberty, aren't when you? In so Rome, if you're there, you might as well. You might as well. Mouth, when in Rome, yeah. yeah. When in Rome, do as the Romanians do. <laughs> I've always done people say, why did you want to suck yourself off? Well, no one else was doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you didn't want to be hack. Yeah, but I don't want a dick in my mouth, let alone mine. Did it taste different? Oh, 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 sorry. What? I don't want a dick in my mouth. Is your dick lower on the list than other men's dicks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that more gay? To yeah. Suck your think, own dick? I think so. It's like if you shoved it up your own ass. I mean, it's double gay because you're being sucked off while yeah, sucking exactly. someone off. <laughs> double gay. <laughs> It's a circle of gay life. <laughs> it never ends. Hey, do you know if you'd have swallowed your day, where would it have come <laughs> up? I would have been like cat dog. Do you remember that <laughs> cartoon? <laughs> come on your ass. Oh and then you'd be God. bombing yourself. Gay. I'm getting bombed. Quad gay. <laughs> Oh, the fact oh. that you fucking came in your own mouth. I didn't swallow though. <laughs> I didn't. I did. I didn't. You just stand up on the toilet like that. Oh hey, it's just, oh. hey, you're cool now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the taste. It was the texture. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> like a big salty oyster. It was like someone that snotted in your mouth, yeah. Ah! Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dirty guest. Thanks for coming, Shane. <laughs> no, That's what I said to her. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming, me. <laughs> oh, no. How long did it take for you to... It took a while. <laughs> I can't suck a dick, I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> Oh. Was it spontaneous or you knew that was the end goal? Well, I only ever got the tip in once. So it wasn't as if I kept going back. <laughs> I mean, going, the jizzing, I in, myself jizzing in the mouth, was it the, you were like, this is the end goal? Or was it, oh shit, I'm going to come? Yeah, he's not. He's I, never had a good pullout game. Yeah, no, I've, never. I've never really, oh no, mine's good. I don't want kids. Yeah. Um, but well, I... It, it must be good. You're 47, you've got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> my throat's pregnant though. Uh, <laughs> Your blowjob record's the same as my boxing record. Wanna know. <laughs> Wanna know. <laughs> uh, yeah, but mine had a knockout. Uh, TKO. Uh, <laughs> <God>. Total cock out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh God. I don't like being here. <laughs> <laughs> you do it to yourself. Yeah, it's what Fred, Freddie always does this. Oh, you make me say the worst things. Do you know what I think? It, I've always had this when I was growing up. And if someone's like, when I had mates around me, they go, do that. Like, I, I remember some of my mates twatting me with a kendo stick. 
And just, I'm just be like, but they're all laughing, aren't they? And then being run over by one of my mates because it was funny or smashing a car because it was funny. I or... think once you talk about sucking yourself off to completion, nothing else you mention is yeah. going to jump out as weird yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's all, yeah. You got ran over. Yeah. On purpose. Um, it was half and half. So I was at a barbecue in when I was at uni. <laughs> And we were all pissed. And then one... <laughs> That's a lot. I was at a barbecue, so we're like, <laughs> <laughs> never had those green little bits. <laughs> like right to where the two percent. Oh yes. And um, and then we had got in, into the idea of like car surfing. So I got on my friend's yellow beetle, and then I'm driving down the street. He's driving, and I'm on the top. And then he put his brakes on, and I slid onto the bonnet, and I thought, oh shit, I'm I need to get off. But instead of getting off at the side while he was still driving, I got off in front and ran. And then he. Got, got me immediately. And then I woke up in hospital. <laughs> okay. It's more confusing than the jizz in your own mouth story. Mm. You, you, you were surfing on your mate's car. Yep. There was a little bit of a break. You lost your balance. You slid down. Yeah, yeah. And you thought, I'll outrun this. <laughs> I just thought I need to get off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, you sucked yourself off and got one off by your own car. <laughs> not my car. I'm not from E17. <laughs> Do you remember that guy? <laughs> no, but you were in the car. No, I was on the car. But, um, yeah, it's still your car though, isn't it? No, isn't it? well, I was part of the, yeah. the journey, but yeah, it wasn't my car. Yeah. Hmm. Mad. <laughs> Carl, what was your reasoning there? Once you're surfing on a car, that's your car. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, every, like it's all him, innit? You need to start your own know, one-man band or something. You'd be fucking great at that. Much You don't have the so <laughs> Just me in Liverpool one. Tambourine. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Let's have a break and think about what's just happened. Woo. Fucking <laughs> hell. Fucking hell. Hello, everyone. Time to talk about my absolute favourite sponsor. It's Manscaped the absolutely phenomenal bit of kit to shave your pubs. Do you want me to do the actual read? I will. Spring has sprung and our friends at Manscaped, the leaders in below the waist grooming, have the best tools for some spring cleaning in your pants. Trust me, your confidence will be blooming like the flowers. Whoever writes this needs to look at their life. Look your best this spring and join the other 8 million men who trust Manscaped. Use code WORD20 to get 20% off free shipping at manscaped.com. Uh, I don't even need the script for this one. This is the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0, and it is the best trimmer I've ever had. And I might sound like a bit of a scruff. I use it on my head, I use it on my beard, and occasionally I use it on the pubs. It massively reduces nicks. The battery life is amazing. It's a lovely bit of kit. You can buy yourself a much cheaper version from Argos, whatever, Amazon. They won't be as nice as this. It's really well made. And then if you buy it as part of the pack, you get all sorts. The Crop Reserver, the Crop Reviver Toner, uh, ball deodorant, a nice pair of boxers. But this Lawnmower, lawnmower 4.0 is the absolute daddy of Pyob trimmers. And I'm not even joking when I say, Laura's got my old one and she uses it. There you go, Laura. I'm sure you love me talking about your pubs on an advert. Uh, save 20% off and free shipping with the code WORD20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code WORD20 at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. So this can be an amazing gift. It can be for yourself. Just let's everyone up their pub game this spring. Summer's coming. Don't have a bush. Another guest on the pod. It's first time. He's a good old man, no? Wallace Regler. Wallace. Press the button. Well, it's... Press the button. I already have. The cheer the button. The claps. The oh, clap. sorry. Hey. Yes, Wallace, lad. You, you said that like, do it. Do it. He's going to be hurt that you did it. <laughs> You're like, you know, those I like, like uh, dance moms. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I am. Yeah, he's going to go swimming soon as well. What? Brennan's been taking his dog swimming and I need to take Wallace swimming. Yeah, me and my ex take the dog swimming. What? <laughs> wow. wow. Weirder than the self sucking off. <laughs> You've got shared custody. Yeah, we've we've been doing it now for. You meet up with a woman who doesn't a like you for a dog swimming lesson. A woman who doesn't love me. Oh. Let's get it right. <laughs> oh. I still like it. I just don't love you anymore. Uh, oh, but me. I know you've got to go and meet your ex if you've got kids together. But you're like, oh god, here we go. Woof, you're not fucking help. And then yeah. you've got to go swimming lesson. Just it's meeting her at Birch bum. Services. There's the dog. I'm not <laughs> being. I'm not trying to do a hack joke, but don't they just do doggy paddle? Like, what are you trying to teach them? Butterfly. What's 
They're like, it's just... <laughs> yeah, but they don't just, get... To, it's just a dog get in the water, innit? Yeah, but yeah. they don't get to be in the water, do they? So it's nice to take... Pond. Them. Yeah. Pond. Would you throw your you kid to take him down the pond? Would you throw her in the pond? No, because she's not a fucking dog. Oh, you hate dogs. I don't hate dogs. dogs, but if I had one, it's going oh, in the pond. Wallace, don't stay listen. there. Don't listen. Wallace, you don't jump in the pond. Oh. 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 Sorry, Wallace. We shouted. But the, there was a teacher. Yeah. And honest to God, right? So scruff in the water. And then the guy, like, she doesn't know what to do. She's freaking out. And then you the, see your bear in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Expert. Expert. Sorry. <laughs> so, Ex-scruff. So um, he gets her. She's like oh, freaking out. And then he just starts going like this. Dog looks. And then she just starts doing it. Amazing. It was worth 20 quid. It's natural for How much? How much? 20, 20, 20 quid for 15 minutes. 20 quid an hour. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. 80 quid an 80 hour. 80 quid an hour. hour yeah. Cool. That's why I've had kids. Cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> no, a kid costs us the same place as yeah, a Peugeot. Yeah, no, I was. What? A kid costs the same place as a Peugeot. It does cost and the same And if price. the dog's under three, you get Class. 30 hours free swimming, so. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. 30 hours free? <laughs> no. Can I tell you what I did in the Cotswolds, Dan, so you can hate me? Yeah. What is is the Cotswolds like uh, the country, like the countryside? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So it's southern countryside. Uh, I went there for me, our birthdays on the weekend. We could rent the cottage and had our friends and stuff. It was lovely. Um, on the last night, Seneca brought... Um, oh, Wallace was there. Look at him. Oh. Um, we Are all you got... two and up? What? Are you two and up? <laughs> <laughs> two and up? Tearing up. Oh, tearing up. Yeah, look at him. Are you so... two and up? <laughs> <laughs> um, we all, so what we did, Dan, we all got a canvas. You listening? Oh God, I'm distracted. <laughs> Can you put the dog down? I don't want to. <laughs> He's cute, isn't he? He's beautiful. Uh, we all got a canvas, Dan. Oh. Uh, and f- with uh, some art, some paints and stuff. And on the back of the canvas was a word. And you got a canvas for 10 minutes. And then you passed it to the next person and they added to it. But every 10 minutes you'd have a shot as well. So we were, we'd done like a... a you six. did artistic Chinese whispers? Mm. For a, for a, an hour with... Um, Six, it was more than six, you had loads. Did you paint in cock and balls? No, the words were masculine, feminine, sexy, groovy, calm, and space. You've changed. Yeah. It's cool, though. What what was your word? My first word was space, so I started space, and then when it came back to me, it finished. So I took it on. So it's not like a sentence, it doesn't doesn't form a sentence, just like a word you're feeling. It's what you think the word means. Oh, for Ten minutes with paints. <laughs> I did life drawing once. On oh a no, I got Brennan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I knew he did. What? It was great. Though. I it was feel really like wholesome. Cause, Cause Rose not here. I've got to go. What the fuck are you talking about? It was about? really wholesome. You, you you get a canvas. Yeah. And the word is space. On the back of mine was space. So I started space. I did a deep blue background, drew some circles, and then passed it on. And then you, and the next one came to you. So and you've just got to guess what it is. You've not no, you know the word. You look and go, okay. And then you paint what you think that word is for 10 minutes. What time of the day was this? It's about 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? Yeah, we were bladdered. Like. You're bladdered. <laughs> Never start an activity <laughs> at 1 a.m. <laughs> Brennan, what time do you go to bed at? What if you, it's your own free choice and it's a random weeknight and you've nothing on, what time do you go to bed at? Uh, 11 midnight. Yeah, because you're Even normal. Even that, this What time do you start art project? Uh, I mean, you've already sucked your dick. Yeah, you've <laughs> you got to fill the dick. Suck my dick. Coursework's due, <laughs> and I do the thing. It was really wholesome, and we were bladdered, and it was fun. And we got some lovely. All got a piece of art each out of it. So. Yeah, but you're not hangable art. Yeah, <laughs> I'm shit at art, but like, like when I got sexy, you know, I, I've got to put on the ping of and a, and a cock and balls didn't go on for sexy. No, it's <laughs> one a.m. I'm not even messing. You're bladdered. Seneca went. No dicks are allowed to be drawn. <laughs> right, she knows you. Yeah. But it was really wholesome and fun. Try you keep saying wholesome like you're trying to convince yourself. Oh, no. It was, I really enjoyed it's it. It's like when Carl says lovely ladies and you know he doesn't mean it. <laughs> they were all lovely ladies. <laughs> um, well, you did an art drawing class. Yeah, um, like a life drawing class. Oh. Uh, a couple of years ago. You weren't the model? No, no, no God. No, no. Oh. I'd do that. Would you? Yeah. No. I would. For an hour? Just sit there, bollocko. Oh, no, all the time. yeah. Flass. Brennan, you a bonus, if you? you suck your dick as a model, at a, <laughs> and still, you'd go down in history. Wow, we've never had this challenge before. Know, I'm sorry, can you keep that hard, please? Just continuity. <laughs> Get the tip out halfway through. Can you just me it? breathing through my nose for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you, wow, you've really captured the look of regret <laughs> and the bead of jizz. The way, the way his balls are on his chin. <laughs> the way you said dick in a Liverpool accent, 
Dick. Dick. L- goes lovely at the end. Dick. Dick. What's your What's your Ulster dick? Dick. That's shit. That's like a knife. It's just a like dick. Dick. Back. I want you on dick. How'd you say my name? Carl. Carl. Right. Carl. Carl. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So my partner's family from Cork, so I'm Carol. Oh, all right. Yeah. Sounds like they call me Carol. See, the Scottish people saying dick reminds me of I went on a school trip um, <laughs> whenever I was maybe 12, and our bus driver was Scottish, but we did not know that. At the start of the trip. <laughs> so it was just a random bus driver. I was a double decker bus. I went to an all boys school. When we got on the bus, so the bus was going from Northern Ireland on the ferry over to England for a school trip. It was going to be like a 15 hour drive. And uh, yeah, there was just a random bus driver from the bus company. And when we got on, it was a chemistry teacher, but like a young guy who did not have the respect of the students. And he made the mistake of going, guys, sit upstairs in the top deck if you want. Or you sit down with me. I was like, well, obviously we're going to the top deck and we're driving through England after getting off the ferry on this bus and it was like 9 p.m. at night and we'd started that morning like 7 a.m. So everybody's like half asleep and, you know, we've been drinking cans of Coke, eating sweets, everyone's knackered at this point and we're driving through and pretty sure it was Warrington. Just like a random Warrington. Time. Warrington. <laughs> and, uh, and we're going through there and when we stopped on like the main sort of high street, there was little nightclubs and there's people going out at like half nine, 10, whenever we were stopped there on this one way high street or whatever it was. And the driver sticks the PA on for the first time. Like he never spoke to us the whole time. And he, and he just like, everyone's like half asleep. And from the bottom deck, all we heard was, all right, lads, look out the left side of the, the bus, lads. What do you think of that? And everyone's like, what is it? And we looked out and there was a load of girls in miniskirts in a queue to get into a nightclub. <laughs> and he goes, you love that, lads? This guy's about 50, and everyone's like, we're like, fucking right with you. Everyone's like, yeah. And like banging the thing. He's like, go on, lads, have a look at that. And everyone's like, yeah. And then, and the, he was loving it, and everyone's popping off, and we're on the top deck of this bus. And he stopped at a red light, and he's like, got the boys on side. And then all of a sudden, someone from a couple of rows behind me go, gets caught up and goes, suck my dick, mate. <laughs> And they just like blurted it out, just like getting all excited and all because there were girls in miniskirts and we're doing all boys school. And the guy went to move off at the light, stopped. The handbrake went, I remember the handbrake went on and the bus like went up in the air. And this guy <laughs> runs up the skirt, stairs, big, bald, middle aged Scottish bus driver. And he said the word dick. He came up the stairs and went, Suck my dick. <laughs> Suck my dick and see the more and everyone's like everyone shit themselves and just looking straight forward. But the more he said it, the higher pitch he got, and he's making eye contact with everyone. I've never really heard that accent before. And he was literally like, Suck my dick. And he's like making eye contact with everyone, and everyone just shit themselves. And he he, been, he left it aside. He suck my dick. He went, That's what I thought, lads. He goes, Who wants to say it to me? Fucking face. And everyone, no, nobody, nobody. Suck my dick. He walks, <laughs> he walks back down the steps, leaves at about a minute. Like, cars stop behind us in this one way street. He starts the bus again, gets us moving. And the same guy went, Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I think when we got off to the service station, like the next morning, he just had this one vein going the whole way down the street. Um, but joke was on us because at the next service station, we had to suck his dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pervy, that. You like that, lads? Yeah. yeah okay. You like that? I lads. wasn't even meant to come to Waddington, <laughs> but I knew these would be queuing. <laughs> have a good look. Oh, my God. Suck my dick. I used to have a driving instructor like that. <laughs> and he'd, he'd pick me up. Tell you passed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said, Suck my dick. And he'd, he'd like, I can suck my own. <laughs> he'd, he'd pick me up from college and he'd always take me past um, a secondary school as it was pulling out and he'd go, Slow it down. Oh, slow no. it down. And you're like, Ah. I mean, in terms of road safety, (laughs) (laughs) it's a good shout. (laughs) You will see shout and suck my dick out the window. (laughs) (laughs) Brennan, you have a game for us. Can you... uh... Yeah, well, this, who knows this could work? Because I usually, whenever I come, because I, when I've been on in the past, I've I've dressed as you. Yeah. And I dressed as Adam. You dressed as me. Dressed as you. And then patrons message me and they go, who are you going to do next? Do we shan? And you're like, no. They're always like, do we sh- do Kane? And you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, we'll move that to one side. So I've, I've, I've made a game. 
Oh <laughs> my god. Is it Finn? It's what? You're not dressed as Finn. Hey. It'd be quite racist. <laughs> no, I did. I brought um, yeah, I brought sheep. a sheep. Oh yeah, of course. Do you remember that? Yeah, I brought yeah. a little sheep. Yeah. So What's it called? It's called Truth or Hair. Oh god. <laughs> this could be rotten. But do you remember when we did the first ever live show? Yeah. I waxed my ass. I love yeah. the make stuff for this. Makes me so. So <laughs> oh, when oh, they did he's the. Got... Yeah. Oh my god. He's done the work. So there's some waxing strips. Oh what? Oh. <laughs> and then there's oh, options of. A question oh, or a body part to wax. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I might be a millionaire with this idea, you know. Oh, shit. If all these patrons start buying truth or hair at Christmas. Truth or nair. A truth oh, or nair, that's nice. good. But um, copyright issues I had on the way oh, here when I was God. coming up with Just a game. Just did a nervous Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. So what we're going to do, I guess we'll go around and you either get to... I don't know you, what's the. Do you know the question? You don't first. look hairy, the, Shane. What's what do you reckon's best? Do we go? Yeah, I don't, you do look I don't smooth. I've I, I've I've got I'd say as much body hair as the next young girl. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like I, that? I do, have, I, do have, I do have I do I do have a, I do have a bit. All right, all right, all right. I mean, some of the places are normal. Some of them get intimate. That's oh, not, so yeah, we don't start, get to pick yeah. the place. I'm not losing. You don't get to pick the place. Bollocks. You get to pick the card. Oh, 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 so, oh what? Oh, all right, ready. So play on. What do we think? Do we know the question first or not? I, th I think that's maybe the best way to pick a card with a question. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. And Let's then, go. all right. Okay. Who's going where, where, first? Where's the body parts likely to be? <laughs> um, I mean, it's not eyebrows, it's not head. Of course. No beard. All right. No beard. All right, all right, all right. All right. Who, do the, you want, who do you want to go first? You're the games master. I mean, I think, I want to find out how hairy Shane is. <laughs> <laughs> Shane's, Shane has got... And so, I've seen it a normal amount. So do you want me to pick a card? Of hair. <laughs> or do you want to pick a card? Right, let me just you, pick. You pick. Right. Right, you pick. I've even written T on the back for truth and H on the back for hair. It's all very oh, good. Oh, shit. Right. right, so Why two. Why did I say you could do this? I knew this <laughs> not Why did you think it was, what did you think I was going to bring in, like Ludo? Yeah, something that isn't, you're right, making me bollocks off. Right, okay, I'll pick one. Oh, the effort that Brennan makes <laughs> is just <laughs> so <laughs> exceptional. And this isn't a card yeah, by the, humanity, I, but. I don't know if you saw, we did a, our very first live show. Right. We really hadn't thought like, how'd you like close this out properly? And Brendan was like, I'm gonna wax my own arsehole. And my God, that picture of that waxing strip coming off as confetti cannons you went did off. Did your own? Oh, no, they did it. All right, because oh, I was gonna say there's a theme here. So we and went then from... the next year I got a, uh, a tattoo on my oh, bottom. Shit. During the pod? Yeah, yeah, that I let these decide on. And it, 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 it was about to be and then we, got, yeah. then we got the boy band five to sing with us. So we've kind of we, yeah, we've we evolved. Peaked. Right. Yeah. I'd say peaked. No, nah, not yet. Oh, no. you got an idea for, oh, oh, no, okay. Not yet. You're going to wax I the boy band five. I forget I've got <laughs> RIP Runty on my bottom so often. <laughs> I just look like a ham that's been. He shot a dead pig's tattoo on his ass that he killed when he worked on a farm as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Killed it with a spade and buried it into a big pile of shite and drowned it. Yeah, it was an assisted suicide, if anything. <laughs> right. R.I.P. Ronty. <laughs> this is quite a basic one. So I've picked, I've, the questions aren't too bad. So who's the question for? Shane. So this is yeah. for Shane. Let's go. So it's just basic, simple one. How many people have you slept with? So you can either answer that and we'll talk about that. I said I'd go first. That's a fucking easy one. <laughs> it's whether Hair. you want your wife to know the actual. Hair. Oh! oh! Okay, I feel trying? this game is already popping up. Okay, well done, Shane. Shane knows how to podcast. So it's one, it's one, <laughs> <laughs> and it's not my wife. <laughs> okay, we'll go for this one. Aww. Pretty basic to start off with. It's just a leg. Oh, leg. Do we do top half, bottom half? What that's do you reckon? It's gonna be thigh, I think, on it. Uh, yeah, how, we'll be yeah. nice. Thigh? Yeah, that's the best place to. How go do you feel about sh wearing shorts? Yeah, are you a shorts wearer? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Go for thigh. All right, quickly. Go on, go on, okay. Shane, go on. Oh you my God. Matthew's hi, just, hi, Matthew. Matthew's just walked <laughs> into oh, Shane time. Todd being waxed. Ready? Okay, get it on. Right, Brennan's putting on the... Oh, mate. Oh, oh the pad's bigger than I thought. Oh, that is a big oh. pad. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like okay. a bitch. He stuck it to his Ah, leg. let's get it. it in. He's heating it up. Ready, ready, yeah. ready. How long does it stay on for, doing. Brennan? He's got it on his Three, <laughs> two, one. Wax. Oh. There's still a lot of wax there. Though. That was sound. Get that, get that off, because that's going to look weird. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? 
Oh. 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 Show it to the camera. That's more hair than you thought. Oh. Well done, Shay. Good work. Right, go on. Right, who wants to go next? Hit me. Yeah, good old Dan. Oh, next. Yeah, go on. Oh God, this is going to end up with Finn getting his bollocks fucking waxed. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Finn, get those fucking balls out. You little Welsh. They're not all sex, by the way. Weirdest sexual experience. I feel like I'm like, going to play spin the bottle in a minute. My weirdest sexual yeah, experience. Yeah, sorry, true for hair. Uh, it was listening to you suck your own dick. That was oh. that, stu that story. Um, do, you, do you know, before you go into, do you know, I don't know whether you'll appreciate me saying this. I've heard Dan have sex once. <laughs> what? What? I have. You've what? heard. Do you Dan know this? No. What? <laughs> when? I mean, <laughs> I was probably about two, three years into comedy. Where, where? Where did I live? You were living over the road from the Frog and Bucket. Yeah. And then we all went <laughs> up to the Black Dog for <laughs> Look at you, panicking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this was weird. Oh. And luckily, <laughs> you can get rid of this. If you don't no, no, get rid of shit. Are, this is. <laughs> I already know this isn't going anywhere. I so, hope this is my weirdest experience. And then I'm like, I've done it. There it is. It was my weirdest sexual experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping. So, <laughs> no. Trying to knock yourself off at the time. We all we all go out, and then we we end. Me, you. <laughs> I live 20 minutes from town. Me, you, and this this randomer. Yeah. Who was from like somewhere like Aberdeen. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Right. I'd gone back to yours. Yeah. And then I slept on the sofa. Yeah. And I fell asleep and then I woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> and <laughs> I thought you had a housemate because you were doing a different voice. <laughs> it, was, it, was so, it was so great. <laughs> it was sort of a bit like you were MC in the shag. You were like, oh yeah. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Oh, oh, baby. <laughs> no! What, with a girl from Aberdeen? <laughs> from Aberdeen. And she's like, oh, my God. And, and then... <laughs> oh, so oh. I was trying to will myself back to sleep. So you're trying to will me. And Why then I woke up in the morning around... Were you in the living room? I was in the living room. Oh, oh, it's the flat I had with Andy where there's just like a divider. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was close to where I was. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning, in the morning, I woke up and you can see from the couch, you can kind of see the front door. Yeah. And I see like, oh yeah, thank you. Cheers. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, thank you so much for your shag. Was, was that, it sorry. Martin Helson? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then she goes. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so <laughs> when do you think we're going to see each other again? And you went, never and shut the door. <laughs> I literally went, <laughs> Dan Nightingale. <laughs> Dan Tribbiani. <laughs> no. 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 I would. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You gotta go, baby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tell, me. Oh. Tell me about those Highland cattle. <laughs> what, um, no, I, I would never have said never. Like the the weird talking, I sort of like I'm cringing, but I could actually imagine me like yeah, like that. that I almost. There'll be a shag, then a break, then a shag, then a break. Who <laughs> is coming? Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> Take your glasses back to the bar. And, but I, I, I can't this shut the time. door and say never. I can't. I'm too much of a wimp for that. Oh my god, you uh, absolute rat! Sorry, my weirdest well. experience <laughs> is that girl from Aberdeen. I've just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I've got some weird ones, but I'm going hair. You're going hair. Yeah, I'm, I'm going hair. Good man. Because when you've just There's had no that option story. for head, is there? No. Good. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's do it. Let's go for this. Oh, no. Quite another, just an average one. Just an arm. What is it? Just an arm. I'd hate that. I'd, I'd hate that. Yeah. Yeah. It looks weird. You got hairy arms. No, but you wear t-shirts. Like, it looks weird. Yeah. If lower or upper arm, what are we saying? Oh, this do whatever. Oh, on. No. Go on, Shane, I'll let you do this one. We look like bouncers at the library in these black t-shirts. Oh, right, okay, so what's the trick to this? So just peel it off. Oh, dear. You get it on your forearm, yeah? Oh. 
Right, peel it, yeah. Do oh, it, yeah. you don't peel it. Peel it, yeah. it arms, do stick it on, flatten it down, and then down, back of the yank it the way that the hair goes, yeah. I think. What? Yeah. Just do armpit. Is there two here? Right. Is Wally so right? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, you've so no good. hair there. It's enough. Go on. Right. Wherever you want, Shane. Shane's put loads of wax on the table. Nah, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> I'm Sticking it down. Because there's no hair. Right. Ready? Right the you're coming in. Good yeah, work, yeah. Finn. Yeah. It's feel, stuck down. Feels nothing. I Top feel of nothing. The arm. <laughs> Three, two, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. That's a rash. Oh, tender. Well, that's my skin annoyed. Come on then. Right. You fucking rat, yeah. Brent. <laughs> you fucking rat. Do you know what? In fairness, if anyone heard any of us having sex, it would be. Or if someone watched me having sex. It'd, yeah, be, or, it'd be dreadful. You, you, whenever you even had the sex. <laughs> I've never had the gym when I used to just pretend I'd never you seen sex. You absolute rat. You're like, I've never seen a vagina. I was like, you've seen two at the same time. <laughs> you shagger. Right. Truth. A secret you've never told anyone. Is this Carl? Ever. This is Carl. Oh, my fucking arm. <laughs> oh, God, he's gone. Oh, how red it's gone. I my skin is pathetic. What's the, what's the hair? Well, you'll just have to say hair. And then we do the hair. <laughs> he's so hairy as well. Uh, I haven't got a secret. Right, so I guess hair. it's hair then, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Testicles. <laughs> Come on. Mama Some of the ones that are on there, we've got gooch. <gasps> what? Oh. No. Anus hole. Oh. None of them no. things are happening. Whoa. Oh. Chest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Balls. Yeah. Oh. And got pubes. They're all the same what? place. What? Yeah, I'm not doing that. They're not. They're different places. Pubes. Yes. Pubes. <laughs> How are you going to fucking wax my gooch? I don't want to do it, but I will. No, I'm Ready. not waxing my gooch. <laughs> He's got so sinister. Let's start oh. off as a laugh. He got how many girls have you slept with? And then leg. <laughs> and Who is them? your biggest hero in comedy? <laughs> We're going to do big toe. <laughs> Carl. Right. Have you ever murdered on, an animal? <laughs> <laughs> Armpit. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, he's on for it. You may as well get yes. both. Carl's going for the armpit, ladies and gentlemen. Well the armpit. Armpit. Okay, weird. quickly, quickly. Right. Quickly. Right. What's the smell oh, like? Smelly oh, we've got that Miami heat oh, going. It's like an old boot bag. Go on, have a little sit down there, Carl. Well done for doing this, Carl, because you're right pussy about Big most things. Boy. <laughs> oh, oh fuck it. that's going to oh, be awful. God. For everyone listening it's gonna on the oh, oh, no. Carl. Carl, no, no, Carl has his, has got a he's got yeah. a ma that's a man's armpit kid. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Roll, roll up the sleeve. Let's get the damage. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got toothache, and now he's gonna have armpit ache. Oh, Brennan applies it. Look, look how evil Brennan is. He loves this yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, get the mic. Someone get the mic right under him. Oh, oh get the mic right under. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Three. Uh, Hang on, let it get on. Let it let it push get on, purchase. Yeah. Oh, oh purchase. no. This what are you is laughing be... at? You know what's left? Uh, oh, I know. No. Three, two, one. Whack! Oh! 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 That did not tickle. Oh! oh my God. It's so much hair. Oh, well done, Carl. Just a little wax left. You fucking. Oh. Well done. Hey, we're all heroes here, aren't we, Carl? So you and Finn, and then that's the last two rounds? I guess, yeah. Yeah. Right. It's time to tell some truths. Is it? Yeah. Oh, Finn's what? truths are it's weird, time to though. to tell some truths. Oh, it'll be literally like he got abducted when he was seven. <laughs> right. Yeah, but it happened all the time so in real. wax left on it. Right, so... Okay. So Finn... <laughs> Suck May. Dick. Oh. <laughs> Do you reckon Waddington's would buy this game off me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <wow>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give him an hard one. Oh, he's, yeah. a he's a headliner. He knows how to close out a gig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your biggest kink? Oh, what should let's be waxed. honest. Getting waxed, he can't win. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Do I say it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah! Go on, Go on, Finn. Go on Finn. Do I say it or do I do No, the no, you say it. You say, say it. Come on. Yeah. As soon as you say, do I say it? I quite... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! No, because I know... 
Some of my family have started listening recently. Tell them um, to not watch They'll know what to do, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They've, got, they've got kinks. Hang on. Ten ten if you Finn's friends or family don't want to watch this, turn off now. Yeah. Yeah, for the next bit. But if you have Finn's friends and family that do want to, that's why I'll turn on now. I quite... Uh, <laughs> 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 it's not even that bad. It's not too weird, I don't think. I quite like some spit in my mouth. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> not but bad. not from someone you're having sex no. with? No. <laughs> Just remember that, patrons. <laughs> if you see Finn in Morrison's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's that's thinking not a, like... Yeah, oh, God, that's not they... a mad one. No. Uh, bit of spit. That's not a mad one. It went wild okay, yeah, quiet. Yeah. How how did you discover that that was your thing? On a one night stand. Just a, what, someone just went. Someone just <sighs> spat in my mouth. They don't I, hock it up. Unless they're not. from Aberdeen and then that's why you don't <laughs> want to see them again. <laughs> Brennan, can we um, I didn't like turn it, one on you? Of course you can. Uh, can you pass the, uh, the yeah, cards yeah. over here then, please? <laughs> so you just get them Pick Ready? it, he picked mine. I'm picking it. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, so, oh, there's so much wax still in me. Shane, pick out. I think sh- Brennan just wants this is an elaborate way for Brennan to get waxed. <laughs> it's going to be yeah, full yeah. body. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the truth is. You want me to ask? Yeah. Brennan. Yeah. What's the most disgusting thing you've ever done? I Why wonder. I wonder. Yeah, I've already told you. I guess it said. I guess I'll do hair. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. eyebrow. <laughs> it's eyebrows. Oh, eyebrows. I've got two good eyebrows. And I've got Shane here to prove it. <laughs> oh, my oh, my oh no, God. it's not eyebrow. It's good. <laughs> oh, my God. This was worth the 6 a.m. flight and going easy, Jen. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 my God. Do it behind the couch. Oh, my God. Pull, God. pull the couch out. So no, can't. you can't hit. Jesus I mean, Christ. just don't get it in shot. I don't want to yeah. do this. Yeah. Brennan, you're going to have to go all fours. What? Well, why don't I go yeah. Oh, yeah, do whatever you want. We'll blare it. There we go. <laughs> like, I think this would be more embarrassing if he, if he didn't love it. Yeah. He loves it. Like, he loves it. He feels so alive. This, this is what Brennan wanted. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, what does yeah. this that, that, become? That really pat it on. Like, make sure you get it on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, right, okay, okay. Dan's, 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 Dan's placing it there. with his right Dan's hand. Oh, he's over that. the couch. Dan's playing the He's bent over the couch. Dan's really, oh, really, really I'm applying I'm it. I'm just getting it off. Oh, he's okay. giving, it, giving his arse a big slap. Dan seems to have gone more for the oh, ears than the yeah. couch, I would say. I'm not fully reaching round. <laughs> right, okay. Welcome to the end of our words. Hold on, Dan, should you get another one in until you get the good too? <laughs> get the other one in until you get the good too. Oh. I can feel warmth coming off it. Three, right, three, three two, two, one. Oh! Oh, no! oh, that's so hairy! <laughs> oh. oh, my sweet Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a great game, Brennan. Uh, yeah, well done. Oh. Oh. Do you know how much wax is still in my armpit? Oh no, no. <laughs> yeah. oh. I need to watch oh. that. Oh my It's times God. like this when I wish I dressed as Ishan. <laughs> <laughs> so so <laughs> I am washing these hands real quick. So Brendan, you're on tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tour's nearly done, but Oh I've got- shit. I didn't press record. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I shit myself. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got two more dates and then I'm going over to Australia, but I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing London. Why am I trying to be serious about this? Uh, very serious show. Uh, I'm doing London uh, on the March the 16th for 20 or so. And then I'm doing the Frog and Bucket in Manchester on April the 16th. I want to see Brennan. He's uh, got no hairs on his gooch. <laughs> Uh, Check if at the show uh, by the sh- time the show's come around, it might be back. Yeah, it might might be at the yeah, prickly yeah, yeah. phase. Yeah. How's it feeling right now? Sticky, sticky, and, and <laughs> sticky. sticky. <laughs> Never oh, it fell off. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew's just come back after being ill for two weeks to this. Um, well, Brennan, it's always fire when you you turn up. Thanks for having us. Um, thanks for the story about. You dick and Aberdeen. That was good. Mm. Shane, really appreciate you coming in, man. Thanks for having me. What a fucking Genuinely ledge. Genuinely appreciate that. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed today. Rowie Bags is back uh, next week. 
We've got Boo. some beer. Yeah. Oh, he's alive again, is he? <laughs> oh, imagine the hair that would come off his gooch. <laughs> no. He becks his bum all though. Does he? Yeah. Is he a bum all bicker? Yeah. <laughs> it's a type of yoga, that isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's always warm down there. Oh. Um, have a word live. We are coming to Dublin, Newcastle, Birmingham and Glasgow. Tickets still available. There are literally like a handful of tickets There's left except, for the Hackney think, Empire on yeah, I, uh, April 7th. Yeah, and uh, Dublin. Come on, Dublin. Is. And if you want to come see my comedy club in Chester, the Comedians Club Chester, the next date is March the 11th. And we've got Mark Nelson closing. Um, it's comediansclubchester.com. Boys, that was epic. Good fun. Thanks yeah. so much. Um, check out uh, Shane's amazing podcast, Tea With Me. Cheers. And um, uh, sign up to the Patreon if you've not already. I can't touch anything because I, <laughs> I have Brennan Gooch your, about my fingers. What are your socials, Shane? Oh, just Shane Todd. Shane Todd across the board? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It's different for every... Same. But they'll find you if they say find Shane me. Todd. Cool. Find me. And we've got a tune just for the audio. I mean, YouTube's the YouTubers have just watched that. The audio for the last 20 minutes must have felt <laughs> like a fucking <laughs> random, random bit of podcasting. But uh, the little treat at the end for the audio listeners it's is... It's not just the audio this week. Oh, it's... Ooh, it's it's not just the audio this week. It's our little Finley K. Yeah. Um, Can't wait to support you, mate. So the audio <laughs> listeners will just get my new single, Take a Ride, um, and then the YouTube, Carl, just stick it in. Uh, it's going to be well, a live session. <laughs> Carl, Carl didn't enjoy this. Stick that in. You know. <laughs> Actually, you can stick it in. Um, is a live session we did from in here. It was um, lovely. Yeah, so please go and stream it. Add it to your playlists. Text radio stations. Ask about ask about it. And then there's and it's actually take a, a ride. Song. We've take said a ride. It's yeah, actually featuring good. the Blue Dolphin Wranglers. <laughs> God, you can't keep saying that. No, but it is actually no, good. No, other ones. Yeah, like, no, but it's not like but when your friend's got a song, you're like, yeah, we're going, we're, this is actually good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, it is, no, it is really good. This is a good um, song. I, th I sing this. Oh, I sing thanks, loads, thanks, so mate. it's actually a good song. But yeah, please stream it, add it to your playlist. <laughs> it's out now, everywhere. If you go on my socials, you won't miss it. <laughs> is that the waxing thing, or do you like wash with toilet duck? <laughs> It's really fresh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go and stream it. We love our Finley. All right, lids. Hope you've enjoyed this one. See you soon. <laughs> Bye, Felicia.
take a ride This is what it's all about Take a ride We'll be up in the clouds Getting way too high Baby, baby Take a ride There's an ocean between the waves Get a grip inside what it's all about Take a ride We'll be up in the clouds Getting way too high